help if I clicked a button, wouldn't it? Hello everybody, and welcome back to our weekly Shadowrun 5e game, Run the Flood. With us today, we have Pegasus, played by Dead Western, Morningstar, played by the Rissa Rave, Cloudy, played by Lord Rodon, T103, played by <laughs> Slippery Noss, which by the way, I've just noticed, Vamp, you need to change your, uh, image. <coughs> All right. That's not the We're right character. Guest and then we have Chase guest starring. Yeah, it's guest starring. Oh, no. That's awful. Oh, he died three seconds. He's already sick. Uh, and Chase Saad, played by Nascavi and our wonderful, beautiful man. The, the one time <laughs> we need tea. We cannot have him just suddenly disappear, replaced with the vampire. We cannot We're going have him. into combat. Uh, while we await the actual correct image to pop up, because sadly things happen. Um, <laughs> uh, when we last left off, the party had gone after Mitch the Bitch, as he has now become to be called in all of my notes. And at this point, I'm just going to continue to call him that. Uh, they attempted to find him, uh, got into some combat with a mage and two other individuals after, and a very large water spirit. After defeating the mage and the sniper and Cloudy banishing the water spirit, they went in search of the last individual who had run into the building. They were unable to find him at first. His metal arm being the only thing they'd seen until suddenly all around them these small skittering little creatures appeared and busting in the doors of the warehouse is what appears to be that gentleman except where his metal arm used to be is now a gaping wound with two spider-like limbs protruding out of it and his entire body has this odd greenish glow to it It's going to be a no for me, dog. Um, <laughs> I think uh, first things first, I think Morningstar immediately uh, yells for um, Mojave to run back to the car. Take cover. Uh, Mojave <laughs> immediately bolts right through a window, Havoc flying quickly after. And to so and to clarify, this man we see, this is this isn't Mitch the bitch, right? This is just some guy. This Who's is being just some possessed guy. by a water spirit. Okay. Yes. Cool. You cool were beats. not um, aware before starting the fight whether or not any of these men were actually Mitch. You had thought it might have been the mage, but the mage got taken out near immediately and behind a window. And then the sniper mm. showed up, and that was even harder to tell. So this is not the right. image you've seen of what Mitch looks like. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I would cool, like cool, to, cool. if you'll allow me before actual combat, I would like to, if, if I can, um, I don't know if this would be considered hacking a computer, but I would like to send out some feelers to see if any like city cameras pick up Mitch traveling through the city. On the off chance that he, like, was able to get away before we got here. Uh, hold on. Two mm -hmm. seconds. Say that one more time? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, beca because our, our actual target is Mitch, I am looking to see if any cameras or if is using any kind of, like, within the area wi-fi on the matrix at all in any way shape or form like i'm trying to see if there's any trail of mitch having leave uh, left this space and i don't know if that would be considered computer or hacking see i can't so if you want to do that i'll i'll allow it but you are currently about to start combat. 
Mm -hmm. So this would be <laughs> a matrix search in combat, which is possible. Um, it, you can't get a very detailed one, but if you do matrix initiative instead of normal initiative, which that's not possible, you'd be in AR and you'd be rolling matrix initiative like that. Yes, you could be doing this in the back. Oh, yeah, only because, like, M Mitch is our actual target. This guy and these little creature things are just in the way. <laughs> and so, like, and currently I don't want surrounded? to... Yes, you are currently right, surrounded. Right, they absolutely have... They absolutely do, and we do need to, like, handle that. But I would also like to have a beat on Mitch so that we're not like, well, now that we just defeated all these weird spider creatures, we have our thumbs up our butts, don't know what we're doing. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that to be the case. Uh, so. it's, it's up to you. Do you want to start this combat in AR and roll Matrix Initiative and do this during combat? Or I will allow oh. us to flavor it. You can send a sprite off to go do that and then handle combat. And that way, during combat, we're not distracted. I'm in a sprite and do it. I, yeah, I would prefer the sprite option. That's sort of where my mind was going anyway. So, All yeah. Right. Send out sprite, please. Uh, I think, yeah, because I think your other sprites. I think they run out, so what we do need to do a summoning again, which mm -hmm. is a compiling test. It's all right. Compile. It's a seven. Probably should have put the force. I'm but... fairly certain normally almost everyone other than Cloudy tends to not push it. I'm going to say you're probably going for a four or a five. Okay. Pushing it is 12. Yeah. Thank you. Pushing it's 12, <laughs> but the other two Yeah, I would say a five, five, probably. I don't think so I've bad. ever done like bigger than a six, so I, I say this is a flat of five. All right, so we're gonna go with it's it's five. Um, that'll... Goodness gracious. Uh, and then that's... I'm not, I'm, this is gonna take such a quick chance. I'm not gonna make this mm. boy... The only thing you need to roll now is your... Fade. Yes, all right. Um, In the Matrix, Fade is at the, the very mm -hmm, top mm -hmm, of your mm -hmm. complex forms. It's compiling. I does oh, yes, still I do see Fade it. as well. Yeah. It's a five. Gotta go over this again. Mm -hmm. Another point. You are okay. You're okay. fine. And we're gonna say Wonderful. this. The child is released. The snake goes searches the web. Child's good. We just gotta Wonderful. make sure we, you know, get rid of him after this point. We're not gonna spend time yes. trying to register yes. him. Going to cast uh, every sprite that I've ever used, I've I've like casted and then when done using have destroyed. <laughs> I've never registered a single one. <laughs> Alright, so we have that dealt with. Uh I'm gonna need everyone to give me initiative, and we're doing the same way we did it last time, where we're running it a little bit like a mix of 5e and 6e, where we're rolling it once and that is the order. Okay, okay, okay. Our big man over here. That is... 16, 18... And would you like my spirit to roll separately? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> that 
not how that was supposed to go. Hold on. Sounds like there was a double negative in there somewhere. There we go. 23. Damn. That's a guardian spirit? Mm-hmm. 2d6 plus 2 times force plus 1. It's force 6. And it still had three services left after the last combat. Okay, that means your guardian spirit actually does go first. Uh, it's going to scream at it. And uh, let's see, do hit it with a little bolt of lightning. Internally same. Internally Morningstar is screaming too. <laughs> All right. Uh, is it within six meters? Actually, totally not my brain trying to remember. A meter's like a yard, About so that's like 20 feet. feet. Like 20 feet? Yeah. Mm hmm. Or yeah. I need to run forward a bit. Probably needs to run forward a little bit. I would say this is about 30 feet away because this, is, a, this okay. is only the width of a warehouse, not the length of a warehouse. Then he'll jump at the big ol' spider and yell at it in midair. <laughs> Before dropping down a, about halfway between it, actually, is about its actual, like, free movement. It screams with style. <laughs> screams with style. It's, mm -hmm. It screams with finesse, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's a big ol' lightning bolt, because I got a theme going on. Uh, all right. Uh, range attack, range increment of magic meters, increased exotic range weapon skill, plus agility. So, six plus. Uh, okay, six plus eight. Fifteen. Okay. Fourteen dice. To hit. That is five to hit. That's it's to hit. To hit. What is it doing to mm -hmm. lightning it's a basically a lightning bolt breath thing at the big bad spider monster beastie. Okay, so this is an actual, like, this is, he would be dodging out of the way of this. All right. Yes, this is just it would be attempting to hit. dodge. Correct. Intuition, which it is, is... It's effectively lightning bolt, but just out of my spirit's mouth instead of my fingers. We do love a theme in this house. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We do. Mm -hmm. We do love a theme. <laughs> and lightning's so good, though. It also drops its uh, it initiative. Is. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so that's a glancing hit. Doesn't take the damage, but it still gets shocked. Uh, that's fair. Can you tell me what shocked does specifically? Uh, it reduces its initiative. Uh, hold on. Electric damage. What are the different damage types? I have that in the picture. Uh, one seventy. Okay. Uh, discharge electro. Uh, some more effects. Electro damage is heated as stunner physical. Uh, Secondary effect injured by electricity damage includes a minus one dice pool penalty on all actions and defense tests, but not damage resistance tests. One combat turn, an immediate initiative score reduction of five. So this lightning comes firing out. The 
the man attempts to move out of the way, but it does still shock him. And all of you can hear, as he gets shocked, a lot of tiny little, almost little whistle notes. As all of the small little creatures surrounding you scream in unison. <laughs> kill this, kill the spider. Kill, kill the mini one. Got it. I'm not a fan of hive minds. That I'm not. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like hive minds. Not. And, uh, no. <laughs> I assume that is everything your guardian spirit can do? Yes. Took the move, took the action. It, that, that's basically it. So, uh, even with the reduced initiative, the toxic spirit is still going next. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I hate it. No! <laughs> so, it's a little uh, interesting. I need everyone, everyone here, to make a reaction, uh, reaction intuition. As uh, all is... of the tiny spiders are basically pulling a flood and jumping at you all at once. And this is the like I said, I gets. don't. And I would roll that with my roadmaster, right? Which oh, I my um links. Uh, oh. the links can, if the links is in the warehouse, then it can also get attacked. Yes. And so yeah, I guess uh, it would be the links. Well, I mean, are you piloting the links directly? Yes. Then it is. Because I'm I'm in the roadmaster and I'm piloting the links. Yeah, oh, it's then it's, it's, it's you. Okay. As long as you are the direct controller. Okay. And that's our I reaction? Mean, a reaction intuition, uh, yes. Uh, would counterspelling work for this? I don't think so. Okay. Like, um, no thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't it. <laughs> I don't like it, Sophie. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> I feel like you also weren't a fan of when I used a blood spirit, so... No, you know, I think I was even less of a fan then, you know? <laughs> but this is like, two things that play- oh, like, player no. doesn't like spiders. <laughs> Damn! Not a fan. You got good- you got good gaming skills. Piloting that thing like you- You see out. all those sixes! What? Yes. Oh jeez! Yeah. At least you one of us. that on there, boy. You feel me? Almost max. At least one of us. The, <laughs> this tank is gonna hustle. This, watch this, Lynx. If you if remember I... those like Boston Dynamics doggo bots, just jumping out of the way, like yeah. dodging this shit. Hold on, hold on. If what is, what is this thing's, the links, what is this thing's handling? <laughs> what is this thing's handling? What is the link's Boosted handling? by your thing. Oh, uh, let me check. Let me check. Can I can I jump onto the links for 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 dodge help because it's not big enough. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I know, no, definitely is not. But goddamn it. <laughs> Two just um, it's default cutting. handling is five, and I give it what a plus three, a plus two, but that's still oh, seven. Is it plus two? <laughs> still seven. seven. You get all okay. seven. Yeah, Lynx is jumping by, around. By, by your rating, by your rating of the thing. Oh jeez. Holy <laughs> shit, dude, that's wild. Uh, I think you only have a rating two. Uh, uh da, 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 da. RCC or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Point so is. Fine. Point is. Uh, there are limits, no. but this boy don't care. <laughs> All right, so uh, Pegasus and the Lynx are perfectly fine. You are able to dodge all of the little flood boys. I don't other like it. Three, um, you are only taking glancing hits, so basically you're only going to get hit a little bit. So I will... Uh... Uh... Does it, so what this does is, it matter this is, not, the if my, this is not initially doing damage to you. Okay. I need to know what your armor is. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, do, do I get any bonuses from, say, um, 
my helmet being on? Do I get resistances for the extra uh, whatever stuff your I have highest in... amount of armor is? Like if you were rolling okay. soak, okay. Generally speaking, what okay. is that? Whatever that is. Is this considered against toxic stuff? Does the chemical seal help? <laughs> if you have chemicals, mm, hold on. Chemical seal does. That's for gas. Mm -hmm. That's not for what this is. Oh, that's that's why I'm asking. Okay. So, all right. You know what? We'll we'll do this very bluntly. From now on, is when doing your soak rolls, every single uh, all three mm. of you will be taking a minus five, as these things latching onto you are melting uh... through your armor. Every time they rip past you, they are leaving a little bit of their weird goo, and it is slowly melting your armor. Okay. Okay, Softy. I, I see. So I we're see. taking minus what to our... To, to, to what specifically now? All your ar like your actual like armor. So your soak roll. Ah, okay. Uh, so, so I uh, think for me 14. that would be a... So, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. My armor for my jacket is 12. Mm -hmm. yes. So we minus 5 from yes. there. I don't like it, Softy. I know. 7. Uh, also, You're breaking I our realize... stuff, Softy. You're breaking our stuff, Softy. <laughs> uh, also, Rodan, the spirit needs to yeah. dodge too. Ah, you know what? You are correct, Amundo. I hate it because they're spirit stuff. They're not tech things that I could fucking do something about. I hate it so much. Uh, all right. Well, we out here cooling out of seven then. Hey. <laughs> four. That's 15 dice and I rolled a four. The spirit is fine. Okay. It is also able to lean and dodge out of the way. Gotcha. Ain't that some bullshit? <laughs> I'm just being salty. Ignore me. <laughs> oh, a little, a little bit of the same. That is the only uh... thing that actually happens on the toxic spirit's turn. Uh, he's sort of still reeling from getting shocked, and he's just mostly jerking as his body is clearly not moving like a person's. Yuck. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> uh, that means the next individual is... Morningstar. Shit. Um, so, uh, as far as my understanding, these spirit things, they're, like, all of it, including weird Spider-Man over there, is, they're all corporeal, right? They're things that I can... Yes, if they can to. touch you, yeah. you can touch them. And if you can see them, they're corporeal. Wonderful. Wonderful, fantastic. Uh, well, I imagine that uh, Cloudy has shared the information that the uh, big guy in the back is the thing, right? Uh, and he shared get this information. It. Frickin with us. Get it. The moment the other Wonderful. guy started screaming, it's kind of like, oh yeah, that one's mine. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm not great at this, but it's the one like efficient thing I can do in this moment with what I have. So I'm going to try to shoot it. The guy back there. Um, because that's what I got. Okay, that's fine. You can take that. Oh, it's so bad, you guys. It's not good. I'm having a time. I'm upset. My armor jacket is is being destroyed by weird spirit spiders. I, I it's not a good time. I'm upset because fucking newbie shooty guy over here is parkouring off the walls. The Lynx is doing weird rollovers, and I'm like upset, you know. <laughs> and so aims all off. <laughs> Unfortunately, you do not hit. I mean, I figure with the one, I certainly do not. <laughs> I figured. There's always a chance. I figured I'm not doing too hot. <laughs> not doing too hot. Um, but I do have like a like a sort of minor action that I can still do, right? Uh, Is that not a thing? Yes, yes. But you could. But, you can. Okay, cool. Move. 
Or or actually any other minor action. I just don't know which one you want to take. Okay, wonderful. Um, I would like to... So since all of the weird things are kind of like just trying to jump us in the middle, I'd like to back up out of the, the, the like the zone that they're in, if that's possible. I just, you know, I'd like to just kind of wash my hands of all these spider things and back up. So, um, if I they may. are completely surrounding you. If you would like to try <laughs> to get away from here, it is a full, like a full on turn. Because you have to fight through them. Oh, oh I hate it. Okay. Bitch. God damn it. Um, in these moments that I wish I wasn't a technomancer. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm like still kind of an AR, yeah? Can I, can I see anything on this, like, the, the big spider guy in the back? Anything on him that is still tech? Because I know he ripped the arm off, but is there anything else? Nothing? on him is tech but okay so you do notice this. okay that the warehouse is actually wired separately from the house the house had one form okay. of, of basically kind of structure and then the warehouse has another and it is on and you okay, can okay, tell okay, from okay, the okay. way all this is placed that one like kind of set of this like okay that's lights but there's another there, the icon there. That is a fire suppression system. I'd like to hack it. <laughs> please, please and thank you. Please roll hacking for me. Oh. Thank you so much. Dicey better oh. be on my motherfucking side. Okay, okay, okay. It's not, it's not great. It's not terrible, though. It's a three. I will give... It is a single mark. Word. Okay, cool. Uh, and the um, thing I you would need to do to activate the fire suppression system is spoof a command. And I believe okay. that is three marks. Okay, so would I be able to, ne my next turn, would I be able to do another, like, packing to get more marks on it and do the spoof move? Would I be able to do that? Yes, if you can. In, if in you my can... next turn? If you can do the thing and get in there, I will let you then do the... If you manage to get two more, I will let you immediately spoof the command. Okay. Okay, fantastic. That's my turn, man. Great. And then next in the line is... T, you're next. Am I able to reach it and attack in one turn? Uh, what is your... 10, 20 plus. Don't know what that means. I also got the running skill I'm going to run if I need some additional uh, meters. Give me a second. <clears throat> uh, so, so first one is is free movement. Second one is uh, the, the the run, so like complex. And then the running is uh, the, the last little bit. It's how much running you get per per uh, per hit. Yes, yeah. T, you actually can get within punching range. All right, I want to Hulk Buster charge this thing and then uh, jump in the air and Superman punch it. Yes. I will absolutely let you do that. Please roll an armed your 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 am, limbs. I am going to use my one singular edge point to uh, cause my sixes to explode on this punch. Go on ahead. <sighs> one punch oh, man. Shit. One punch man. One punch That's man. so funny. I was just looking. I just put that in the chat. <laughs> the what? All there was one six. Damn. We don't have any banked rerolls, do we? <laughs> yeah, the the real question is, can I can I bank a reroll, <clears throat> or would that be cheating? Right. Yeah, we, no one who's that. playing is allowed to do it, but. If anyone in chat wants to give him the reroll, they can. There we go. Oh. Shift came through. Yes, Dave. Hey. <laughs> All right, you may Ready do here. it again. It's it's, it's gonna be worse. Watch. Oh, that ain't worse. It was not worse. <clears throat> right. Let's see 
love to see it. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is one short. You hit by one. You hit it by <laughs> one. <sighs> that adds... One damage. One damage, that's 15. It's got armor penetration, so... I can't... I can't roll a negative soak roll, can I? How would you roll a neg- From AP minus two? Yes. Does it just no? take damage, or does- no? it just I guess 16, it, it just I takes think? the damage straight, so... You come down Superman man punching into this thing. And you manage to hit him... I, I assume, like, you know, coming down center of mass. I would assume he's where you want to hit him. I didn't call a shot, so it's wherever you narratively would like the fucking... Because the, the, the big O piston in the shoulder and the the elbow fire at the same time. It's just... Wherever you want that to land is where that lands. So, you manage to crunch down on this man's chest. And you hear a crack. And then you go all the way through his body. And that is when this man's, what probably should have been his collarbone, bursts from his chest in replication of the front fangs of a spider. Uh, you are able to, I will allow you to withdraw your fist. You're not stuck in him. Uh, but he is now beginning to crumble away as something much bigger is literally peeling itself out of his body. Gross. It's an absolutely fucking not from me. <laughs> well, I do actually have to write down. Uh, so I will the eyes are key. still... He is still recording uh, up close and personal. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll help this young man out of his suit if I need. Of course. Uh, oh, <laughs> I will also give T. Um, when you pull your hand back, you are your arm has blood on it, uh, but it's very dark, almost like old blood. But around, right around the middle to your knuckles, you can see that there is this kind of sickly green. So. You kind of, you can assume that you actually managed to punch through him. You did get the spirit. You didn't just break one layer and the spirit's fine. So you just got a menagerie of colors all along your arm. It's just dripping now. Perfect. And when uh, the spider is struck, uh, again, that whistle tone screams out through all of the little babby spiders. They are starting to jitter around more violently. Jay, you are you and the Lynx are next. You're muted. Okay, Jay will first unmute himself. Uh, and then he will <laughs> yes. say over the, the Lynx's uh, speaker, Hey, Cloudy, you bring the lightning, I'll bring the thunder. And then Cloudy will, yes. uh, and then uh, Jay will fire his uh, thunderstruck at the mass. Yes, we oh, love a God. theme in this house. <sighs> so, I'm going to be nice and say that he was able to not be directly in the path of the Thunderstruck. <laughs> uh, because that is a that is a pretty yeah. wide railgun of a beam. <laughs> so, he is not in the path of it. Uh, you may roll the Thunderstruck normally. Oh, I... Thank you, GM. Because that would have sucked if we, if we shot T. <laughs> that would have not been great. I'm, I'm rolling pretty good, guys. Yes, you are. Yeah. Ooh, we got some we good ones, to see too. It. Seven. You know, I... Spider... I... Um, completely damn. rips the human off of itself with only pieces of skin hanging off of its engorged abdomen. 
as it stands fully upright, well over a good five meters tall, maybe more. Uh, and it basically just jumps out of the way, getting up onto the wall. Well, at least I hit the the skin sack it left. Dang. <laughs> yep, as it drops I'm... off the rest of the meat, it, it obliterates it. There is no trace of this man, save for his metal arm down in the back. The the word engorge is awful. I'll have everyone know. Just a just a gross word. <laughs> it's just <Engorged>. gross. <laughs> it's awful. Ugh. Oh, it's gonna get worse. Disgusting. <sighs> no, stop it! Don't say it with a smile. I know you're smiling. I can hear All right. it. Okay, <laughs> um, so, who's, who's next? Who's next? Uh, pardon me? My brain melt? Uh, oh god. Would piece of paper stop moving out of my way? Pegasus is next. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna move as far, like, yeah, so I want to move a little bit more out of the way towards, like, the back of the room. So I can have a more clear shot with some distance, uh, and then I'm gonna. Is this room? This room's not too small to where I could fire my sniper at the guy, right? Or the spider monstrosity? Or is it too small for that? It's a little too short for that. Okay, you I'm gonna could, switch. But to... you probably do better. For... Actually, you honestly might do better with your dual dual pistols. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, if it was too small, then I, yeah, I'm gonna switch to my two pistols and I'm gonna light up. A uh, giant monster man. <laughs> Spider monster man. Alright. Uh, you may roll. Uh, I believe you roll it once for each gun. Okay. I think. Okay. Because it is both guns at the same time. Yes. You took ambidextrous, so there's no actual, like, negative here. Yeah. Jesus. Bang, bang. It is uh, able to basically skitter along the wall quickly, just throwing around its back end to get out of the way. It is shockingly not Sounds an easy cool. target for you. <laughs> it will not stop moving. Yeah. Sound, it sounds good. I'm going to keep trying, though. But yeah, aside from that, that's my turn. And then finally, it is Rodan. All right. Uh, I was thinking about... About, uh, I was thinking about doing the lightning thing, but with how this thing is just dodging left, right, and center, I might microwave it instead. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reckless cast two mana bolts at level two. Um, okay. This is going to hurt me. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, all right. Let us go with we're, you. we're making moves that are going to hurt us. What what are we doing? Why are we doing? Reckless cl casting uh, is uh, a way of making magic better, but dangerous. Uh, that is six. That is six. Okay. Not eleven. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I take two stun. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, now I'll go ahead and do it again. Um, yep. Okay. Um, go and uh, ahead. just so I know, are these uh, this one. This is mana bolt? Pure willpower. It to is resist. just willpower. Okay. Mm hmm. 
Okay, that one's only seven. And I'm fine. Okay. Uh, so it has to... It, it rolls twice. Uh, but total of uh, 12 physical damage right to its face. So it's going to roll once. Uh, two on the first one, and one on the second one. Oh dear. How much damage does Mana Bolt do? Is it its force? Uh, six apiece. It, it, it's just physical damage. So it is just physical damage, alright. Mm-hmm. So that looks like it did what? Nine damage? Just just full on? And Mana Bolt... Oh, well, no. Mana Bolt's magic. It does basically... It is. Matter. It does not. It right. is raw willpower. <laughs> so, you've let it loose these two Mana Bolts, and they slam into this thing's back. And it actually falls off the wall. And it's, it's kind of on the ground, and it's getting itself back upright, looking very confused. And where your mana bolt have hit this creature... Th when this thing kind of popped out of this dude, right? It was already way too big for being inside of me. <laughs> I mean, depending on who you ask. Mm -hmm. uh, and it had this, mm -hmm. you know, massive, very round, kind of, uh, I think, orb weaver style, like, belly... Or like a mosquito that's mm -hmm. just eaten blood or something. But where the mana bolt has hit mm -hmm. it, it's now started to grow this textured skin over top of this green glow to it that it has. And it seems mm -hmm. to be almost responding in kind to being struck. Like like an armor? Yes, like it's almost building itself an armor and its appearance is shifting. Yeah. And as it okay. as it does change, you watch as the amount of, uh, well, the amount of engorgement of its abdomen is actually shrinking and getting smaller. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, with Gladys Terror, that wraps right back around to. I can't talk. The Guardian Spirit. Words. Back at the top of the initiative. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, so, so you said it was starting to build up armor and, and stuff? Yes. Uh, does it look like it slowed down a little bit? It actually does. It looks a little, as it's gaining the armor, it seems a little confused and it's staggering a lot. Okay, okay. <laughs> then uh, this thing's just going to just zap it with lightning breath again as it's slowly walking forward to just be right mm. in front of it. Just be like, oh, no, no. <sighs> Uh, Gojira style. Um, and let's see. 14. Five. Okay. One, two, three, four. Got it by one. Uh, twelve, uh, force twelve. So thirteen damage with six, uh, armor piercing. Oh. Shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit. All right. Spirit on spirit combat, boys. Right. Word. Party. <laughs> uh, as you let loose this lightning, it shivers through this creature's body again. Oh, does it initiative uh, change again? Hmm? Does this because uh, it's lightning? The, it just maintains the minus five. Okay. And minus one to all of its things that it does, which right. I don't know whether it was doing that. The point is, damage. 
damage. Right. Uh, you elect like the electricity looses through this creature, and as it gets hit, you watch as this abdomen, more and more of the dark spots start coming over, completely coating this thing, and the abdomen shrinks and shrinks and shrinks, and it just finally, it is just standing before you guys, on its turn, and just shakes itself. And you watch as it almost crouches into an odd position and it cracks the back that it had, like the armored back it had been creating. It cracks itself out of there and is now much skinnier and thinner. But as it looks down on your guardian spirit, it is going to attempt to eat it. gonna try and eat my spirit yep oh no oh no I can get this correctly because I did modify a spell it should just be this The Guardian Spirit oh. will have to dodge out of the way. Okay. Means 15. Four. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Just, no. I. Then that means it goes to Morningstar. You may do your hacking roll again and attempt to get control of the fire suppression system. Yeah, for flavor, uh, my tail is fully out and whacking at these little spider things that keep trying to attack us. It's um, just flicking around, knocking little baby spiders into the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a three. <laughs> I got a three. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> You can get one more mark on it, which is not enough to activate the fire suppression system. Okay, you know what? I'm going to, if I can, do that, like, next minor action thing as another hacking to try to get that third one on there. Yeah, if I can. I'll let you. Go, 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 go. Please, dice. That's an eight, bitch. <laughs> you basically I'm not calling you a bitch. Hey, it's mine. Okay, next turn I'll be able to turn on the guns. And T. T. You are uh, st stood very close next to the guardian spirit, which is dodging out of the way of a spider trying to open far too much of its body. Uh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Uh, well, it opens its mouth and tries to come down to eat something, so I guess I'll just uppercut it into the jaw. <laughs> Roll it. Yeah. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I don't have any more edge, so we'll see. It's not great. No, well, it's a fine. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Thank you. One point. Then one, two, three, four, five, which is a glancing hit, but that doesn't do anything on physical, I don't think. Or is it just not add? Is it still? I can't remember. Shit. <laughs> I don't remember. Mm. I know glancing on secondary effects, but I suddenly don't remember <laughs> if it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you do hit it. I think it goes to you. But I don't remember. 
Maybe. I'm gonna say <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna Fingers say it goes close. to you, that's it. So you're attempting to uppercut this thing in the jaw. You actually manage to catch... Unfortunately, you don't catch one of the fangs to break it. You manage to catch actually into the mouth, which rewards you with an odd choking noise and <laughs> your hand covered in more green goo that smells like a mixture of vinegar and fish. <clears throat> oh, no! <laughs> Oh my but God. It, it does, you know, it does screech and pull back for weight from you. You clearly did some damage to it. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's gross. He's gonna need a shower after this. <laughs> He's gonna be like, Ugh. damn. Oh God, I've got a, oh, I've got a gaping chest wound from a sniper rifle shot. It's getting in there. Oh, oh no. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, oh no! Oh, I hate it. I'm so sorry. Also, it's I'm kind of glad you told me that. Yeah, that's just part no. of me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Fuck. We'll deal with that later. Uh, Hell next yeah. No, the no, line no, is. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Oh shit. <laughs> He's on the phone. The links uh -oh. cannot be used. Uh, okay. he's the, he's, 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 the Lynx is not responding, so he's along with Ares tech support. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, then we will move <laughs> forward. Uh, Pegasus, would you like to try to shoot it at the full fucker again? Oh yeah, bang bang. Double Ares. Yes. Bang, bang. All your Ares oh, voice. Oh, now that song's stuck in my head. Shit. <laughs> not, oh, wow, there we go. Good second yeah. roll. Okay, okay, okay. What's your physical limit? Uh, it's the accuracy. Right, so it's the accuracy. Seven down I'm sorry, that's mine. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you have something that uh, like heightens your accuracy. Oh. I don't think I, think I do. Think unless it's part of my augment. Unless it's part of my arm. Which it might be. No, I don't think that's so. A... I don't think your arm increased yeah. your accuracy. It increases your agility. Oh, uh, yeah. I think the accuracy. Uh, my the my smart link. I have a smart link. That that's uh, is that that's what's letting you use these seven and seven five. Go. Well, there you go. Then yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I don't got then no. Don't got anything. I don't think. So let me I've got him stuff. marked up. Can I say I improved his accuracy? Because <laughs> I marked him up mm. earlier. <laughs> no, I know that's cheesing it. <laughs> 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 he just subtly sees a crosshair in the form of- Whoa, I'm just way better at shooting now. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So, first one, one, two, three, four, five. It is able to get out of the way of the first one, but it is most certainly not able to get away from the second one. Oh, yeah. So that's... Word. Oh, that's... Uh, one, plus two, five. Plus five. Eight. Oh, what's 13? <laughs> 13. Nice. Yes. Piercing minus one. Yes. Softy, why, why does this boss have so many freaking health bars, I swear? <laughs> uh, so you come through and are firing at this creature. Mm -hmm. uh, math is correct, and yes. Uh, you... That first shot, it manages to dodge out of the way, and in almost a comedic moment, it turns to yell. The second bullet flies through its head. <laughs> and this like thing nice, nice. falls backwards and crashes to the ground. Finally. Okay. And then I have a feeling it's going to get back up, yeah. <laughs> you all realize all the little baby spiders are still there. No, it's not dead. Its uh, stomach begins to swell. <gasps> oh, gross! Uh, oh, Softy! Don't do it. Jay, don't uh, do since it. you were uh, gone, you, your links can go. We just had Pegasus go before you this turn. So. Um, Jay will see that uh, belly swelling. And would just take a shot at it with the with the thunderstruck. 
the Thunderstruck. Fire yeah. rail gun at it. Yeah. Fire anti-tank weapon. Yeah. Yes. She's yes. got to think about getting a flamethrower or something now. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Ew. it actually cannot dodge. This auto hits. Because it is currently incapacitated. Oh, nice. uh, you're going to fire the Thunderstruck. And in no uncertain terms, it slams into this thing's gut. And it just explodes. Everyone within... 20 meters are covered Ugh. in the green goo. No. No. Uh, now, that really might not be best. everybody. That's really good for me. I love that. I so, am. Uh, yeah. You're covered in it. The Lynx is covered in it. The Spirit's no. covered in it. I have not moved uh, from my position, so I would. I, I want to say I'm not. You're about 30. I hope not. If no one moved from where they started, you're 30 meters away. So you are not hit. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool, cool. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I can work with that. <laughs> the baby spiders still have not removed themselves. Although, you do notice that their behavior has shifted. They are receding from you and are starting to clump together. Piling on top of each other. Okay. okay. And it is uh, <laughs> Cloudy's turn. So they're starting to like clump around in a single area, right? Yeah, they're kind of like reaching into like they're. You see about five separate piles forming. How far away are the piles? From each other or from you? From each other. From each other? Uh, they're all around you, so I'd say the two cl ones that are closest to each other are still about five meters apart. Oh, that's easy. Are you about to chain lightning this bitch? I'm about to ball lightning, so close enough. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you tell me the actual radius, and I'll tell you how many. You uh, six meters, oh, if I'm doing yes. four six. You can hit two of the collecting piles at once. But if I bump it up to say force eight, could I hit more? How does that change it? Eight meters. Oh. Eight meter radius. Eight meter radius. No. You would need oh, to get child. to a ten meter ra okay. radius to hit three of them. Oh god. Oh. That might kill me. That might legit instantly yeah, so maybe... kill me. I'm gonna go ahead and not do that. Um uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> YOLO. Just no. the six. YOLO. Just the six. <laughs> Don't do no. that. It, no. it's, it's 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 fan, our team. Just think about how cool you'll be if you do survive. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm already, I'm I'm already pretty cool. Yeah. I am I'm just already kidding. pretty cool. <laughs> no, no, I like, uh, I like Cloudy oh, and the okay. same living form he is. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's another two stone. Ooh. I am in pain. Uh, oh, that's so, uh, okay. uh, if they're rolling to dodge, take, take, uh, take, well, technically take the six. Um, or is that, how much, is it doing six damage? Uh, no. If it's not dodging, it's six plus six with six armor piercing. So, twelve. Electricity damage. So, uh, I'm not even gonna lie. Ball lightning uh, works like a gun. You fire out this ball, ball lightning, and two spider piles that are right next to each other, that are probably the closest to you all, just pop. And all the little baby spiders pop. There are still three more piles oh. that are currently forming. And uh, next in the lineup is the Guardian Spirit. Uh, it's gonna keep on doing what's been doing. It's just just the uh, uh, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. It's it is being it is being the larper meme, just much bigger and actual lightning bolts. Uh. 
There it is. Except this one is a total of 18 damage if it's not moving. Uh, and I assume this can only hit one target, correct? Yes, it can only hit one target. Then uh, another spider pile is in fact destroyed. Now it is the toxic spirit's turn. Oh god. The two spider piles that had been being created, you hear one of the most sickening and disgusting organic noises that you can imagine. And something along that line, as the small <laughs> little flood like spiders merge into each other, uh, creating much larger variants. Uh of a similar design to their apparently parent spider. Uh, they're about person-sized by this point. Um, uh, one of them is going to come running at T and is going to attempt to nom with acid jaws. So, one, two. So, you gotta beat a four, T. Uh, I'm able to block this by just stiff arming it, like in the chest, not sticking my fingers in its acid mouth. So, these are actual spiders. I want you to think about if you stiff arm a spider, the only place you can kind of grab if it's coming right at you is its mouth. Is it's, it's, it's. it's Head, yes. It's it's forward will, bits, the eyes. Yeah. I will let you stiff arm it, but you will be taking the secondary effect of its attack. If you try to dodge, uh -huh. there's a chance you don't take any of it. Oh, that's fine. Well, if it's a big spider, then it's got those two big fuzzy bits. Can I grab a hold of those like a bullhorn and try to wrestle it with the? Because it's it's got those <laughs> the tiny tentacles. Yes. The yeah. Pounce. Yep. Can we grab its pounce? Yep. <laughs> Yep. Can I flavor a block as trying to grab its palps? I would like to milk the spiders off me. No, the no. Fuck it, sure. Flavor a block is trying to grab its palps. Sure. Jesus Christ. Fight this thing with a goddamn ball. That's the part of the mouth I can think to... So there I was, a strong, independent orc covered in peanut butter and jelly, when suddenly... <laughs> it fucking grabbed it by its titties. It grabbed the spider by its titties. That's what T has done. Palps are not titties. basically what you're telling they me. They are manipulated. That's what you're telling me? Okay, alright. Like I don't know, man. he said milk. Those. Little enough <laughs> okay. games playing with. That's what he said. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so, so. Yep. Okay, okay. Understood, understood. <laughs> he wildin' when y'all said milk. Okay. <laughs> so you are able to stop... You're able to stop the spider in its tracks. You are now uh, holding a spider by palps. <laughs> uh, the other spider, which is gonna go in the same turn, is going to go after... It is going to run into the group of Clouding, Morningstar, and Pegasus, and it is going to jump on Cloudy, Geek the Mage. Oh, was no! It, was it oh, close shit. enough that I oh, could no. try to intercept it? Not uh, while you are holding off the other one. These attacks are happening at the exact same time. Gotcha. It leaps quite a ways. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, it comes soaring oh, through God. the... Actually, it jumps at the end it runs first very fast little legs going real quick oh god i can i cannot begin to tell you how much i fucking hate this i feel like there are spiders all over me i'm not a fan <laughs> disgusting Two, three. Three, three. Three. Oh god uh, a message I am, from morning star i'm gonna dip to, dive to dip, dip dive and dodge um uh, a message so goes to, to Jason in his in his little 
cocoon, and I'm like, uh, we are see, getting it would be a gymnastics. Flame Next time we go slow, reaction, we are getting flame the one. <laughs> That's something like that. And morning star, you should uh, get up. Three, three, glancing blow. That's still probably gonna hurt. <laughs> Yeah, because you get the same As effect. I dive out of the way. So, the uh, you will only get a glancing blow. You will not be taking damage. But your armor, and you may pick whichever piece of armor that you would like, is destroyed. No! I guess it drips a sh whole bunch of acid right into my helmet. It's just dissolved. So it, it uh, wow. yeah, it... It drips into your helmet, and you, in a real quick movement, yeet that off your face before it melts into your own. And it is mm -hmm. it melts into the ground. Your helmet oh, is gone. no, bitch. Mother fucker. And uh, as, as, as it uh, kind of turns around, it kind of went past you after, like, it jumps too high. You basically ducked out of the way. And it kind of turns around, spins spiderly around. It bears its palps at you. Aggressively. <laughs> fucking no. And I am just starting to glow, glow like fucking Thor. My eyes glowing with fucking menace. Oh, it is. This is going to no. die. It is going to die. So, uh, holy Morning shit. Star, you have access Help. to the fire suppression system. Would you like to turn it on? Yeah, I would like to do that. I would never like to do that very much. Thank you. Um, <laughs> do I need to? Here's the thing. Do I need to warn anyone to get out the fucking way before I do? I turn this shit on, or is it a thing that I can like, um, sort of pinpoint its marks to where it should shoot where it doesn't hit my people? If, if you turn on fire suppression like this, it will emergency turn on it completely, so the entire system turns on. Okay. I guess what I'm asking is, do I need to warn people to get out the way? That's what I, need I will to tell know. you right now, no. Delightful. Okay, what am I? What am I? I it's not the suppression to, to kind this? of system you're thinking of. Okay. Um. We, okay. Wonderful. So, so, what? What am I rolling here to to do the thing? Uh, to spoof a command, you just you're sacrificing your marks on the object. Okay. You basically have Wonderful. four, so you're only sacrificing three of them, and then you spoof a command. Okay, wonderful. I would like to turn turn the thing on with, with the one that's left over. So on your um, turn, you uh, send that command in, and everyone hears this grunting and creaking from an ancient system that has not run in years. And the entire warehouse is suddenly bathed in slightly rusty water. Oh! Okay. And the minute the water starts That's touching cool. the spiders, they react in pain. They are skittering for cover. We love to see it. We love to see it. Wonderful. They're finding any shelving, um, anything to get out of the water. Cool. So, I still have like a minor thing that I can do, or is that, was that the whole turn? Uh, you can do another minor thing if you'd like. Okay, does shooting count as a minor thing? No, attacking is a major. Okay, okay, okay. Son of beach. Um... I don't know what to do. Question, does this rain wash the goop off of uh, T and, and the spirit? It's kind of, yeah. It lubricates it's the entry in my vascular system. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, um, great. So good. Uh, any, so, okay. Since I'm in the system, is there anything else that I could turn on? Can I can I increase the pressure of the water? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If um, uh, this is I... oh, that is that is a separate. You know what? 
you technically have enough marks on this thing. I'm fairly certain if you burned all of them at once, yes, you can. You then turn I'll it on that. and you can basically increase the pressure. So you're spoofing this thing yep, to yep, dump yep. its entire tank. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, absolutely. Uh, since that's the most I can do. Uh, I, I'll actually, so if I imagine like my my path is clearer now, oh, yeah. I would like to get closer to, oh man. T still has the one by the by the the palps. Oh, I hate that. Uh, but he's, he's still holding on to it, right? Uh, technically, he could have thrown it away. It's one of those ones where I assume T, you would, probably would have pushed it away. Oh no! Oh, oh you wish to continue this, holding it. This thing belongs to me now, and I will break my toys as I see fit. That's fair. <laughs> yes, he is currently in grapple with this spider. Fantastic. And, 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 uh, Cloudy, the spider that, like, had just attacked him and, like, turned around and was going to attack again, did it skitter away? It hasn't had get the away chance to skitter here. away yet, but it is clear that, like, the minute the water hits it, it kind of, it's, like, turning around very Wants quickly, like, away. it's looking for, and you can tell that like, when it's looking, it's looking at, like, shelving, shelving, shelving. Room, can I get away? Got it, got it. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, you know what? Then I then I'll just stay where I am and uh, have my gun at the ready to start shooting where I need to shoot. And that'll be my turn. Then we have T. You you have your toy. Are you gonna break it? I'm gonna try my goddamnedest, but we'll see what the dice want me to do. Uh, so I'd like to. Uh, kind of force the body to the ground with one of the palps, and then punch it right between all eight of its eyes with the other arm. Yes. <laughs> now, so I can clarify. You're basically mm -hmm. holding, by holding one palp, you're forcing it to the ground, and using your actual arm, you're punching it. You're not doing the, why are you hitting yourself bullshit with this thing. No, 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 I'm hitting it with <laughs> my arm. <laughs> Okay. Now, I, I'm not going to punch it with its palps. That's a. I don't want to get into the logistics of what that would entail. I will just, just roll your cyber <clears throat> arms. Okay. Would probably involve ripping it off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Basically punching it anyway. Oh, rips it out. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> oh god. It only got two. I am fairly certain that you haul back and you just crush the front head body of this thing. Like it gives that satisfying crunch like it squished a bug. Yes. To really make sure that my wound is compacted, I'd like to in those final moments, uh, lift it over my head and shred it like a telephone book. So it gets all over me. I will allow this. You Thank lift you. this spider above your head and you just grab one end, one end, and just rip it in half. Just drenching you in more of its fluids. I'm going to need a oh. real doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yep! <laughs> uh, the rest of the water oh, no. is uh, higher pressure and is definitely... Uh, Kind of cleaning you off, but you know, as it's flooding the ground, you do see that there's definitely trails of, you know, that red brown. So, not the cleanest water to clean a wound at all. <laughs> Might need a tetanus mm -hmm, shot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, with okay. T's turn, that goes to Jay. Um. Jason is going to start driving the links out of the warehouse um i just basically if the warehouse is gonna start flooding i don't want the links to be in there well I, um, but, I say flooding but like these are not watertight doors the water okay. is leaking out you only have like maybe about uh an inch of water on the ground oh that's fine okay in that case i'll spin the links around to where he where if I, i'll i guess since everything's hiding can i spot or see a monster 
A spider dude? <laughs> well, the spider has not. Tenley Spider's turn never came around, so it has not had a chance to hide yet. It is still oh. cloudy. Then uh, I'm going to introduce him to the thunder. Oh, shit. We love a theme in this house, and it is storms, okay? My god. <laughs> <laughs> did not all as good this time. Do they get disadvantaged because they're in the water? One, two, three, <laughs> I know it's not D&D. &D. <laughs> it does, in fact, avoid the thunderstruck. Me. What the fuck? It is simply oh. jumping around far too much. But there's probably holes now, like in the warehouse. Oh, walls. there's holes in the fucking <laughs> warehouse. <laughs> dog. This railgun has blown off hinges. <laughs> it's blown through a window at one point. It broke a wall. Oh, Jesus. Like the few times yeah, this yeah. has gone you know, off. Oh, yeah, there's damage. Hopefully, no one notices what we're doing down at the docks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hopefully, no one's like, hey, something weird's happening down there. <laughs> The uh, next <laughs> is Pegasus. Beautiful. I mean, I'm going to sound like a broken fiddle, but, but, you know, spiders right there. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. No. <laughs> hey, switch you best, guns. right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Double fours. Only gets one on the first one. Nick gets none on the second one. Nice. Nice. Yes. Bang, bang. You, yeah. Bang, bang. You bang, bang, and it's so basically <gasps> you just let loose and just... You, you you do that whole thing. You start you start firing, and you don't stop firing until you see the pavement mm -hmm. underneath the body. Perfect. Exactly. I yes. like it, yeah. And Morningstar again thinks. Uh, so he said he was not bloodthirsty. He said he wasn't bloodthirsty. I do not believe him. I do not believe him. This guy seems full of shit. Bug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So with that, uh, combat is over. Well, Telnos gave you that when he gets back. Combat is over. Hey. Uh, as you were all. Trying to do something real quick. Having my entire existence not work. You're doing great. We love there you. We go. There we go. There we go. My goodness, I got caught on something and my computer would not respond. Please forgive that. Ooh, that okay. was a little spooky. I thought I was going to freeze for a second. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. Been there. Once the uh, <laughs> combat is over and this final spider is dead, uh, you all hear kind of a clang, a bang, as all of this water pressure on a very old system just straight up busts the pipes in the ceiling. Uh, so yeah. water is now pouring down the walls until it finally just stops as it, it eventually it just is, mm. it's not working anymore. The pump just can't keep up kind of thing. It just, it just slows the whole mm -hmm. thing down eventually. It's still kind of leaking a little bit. Mm -hmm. Although you are now very aware that, uh, the smell of salt water is much, much stronger than it was before. And you kind of click that. Oh, this is coming right from the ocean. Uh, when the last spider is dead, uh, you watch as its glow seems to fade and it's, it melds into the water and entirely just dissipates. Uh, astrally speaking, uh, the webbing on the other building is gone. There is no trace of this toxic spirit. Uh, there is no trace of anybody anymore. It is quiet. <laughs> and I looked up and saw the stuffed animals that Nuskavian has, and I'm now dying a little inside. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. Okay, okay. So, so, uh, 
Cool. I have question. When I look over at T, does he look in a very bad way? Oh, that actually. Thank you. But let me tell you about T right now. Uh, <laughs> he was being showered with filthy water, covered with viscera. Uh, just finished mm -hmm. punching this thing into the earth, and as he comes up to his mm -hmm. full height, uh, the eyes are still glowing under the hat. Uh, and does it look like he's in a bad way that I am aware of, other than he's just like, oh, it's, it's over. He's still recording. <laughs> Roll willpower. Oh. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, is this modified by anything? Nope, it is just <clears throat> straight willpower. Got it. One. <clears throat> oh, fuck. <laughs> As you oh, are no. three dice. <laughs> as you are so standing bad. there, you start to hear something. Mm -hmm. You don't know where it's coming from, but there's this little noise, like chittering. Mm -hmm. Skittering noise. <clears throat> yeah. Astrally speaking, Cloudy, as I would assume you probably would be looking to make sure this little fucker's yes. not hiding. Yeah, I would have gone ahead, looked back around to make sure there weren't any tiny, itsy-bitsy little tiny spiders hiding anywhere. Can you roll me uh, a second? Astrally. Oh, God. Uh, oh. The minus one, because oh. magic hurts. I'm a mother now, Rissa. No, uh, stop! Don't. Don't. Not that Do I can not. see! Do not. Not that you can see. God damn it. But yeah, Cloudy. T, you, just, you hear this scritching in the back of your head. Back of my head? I was shot in the chest. We need the back of my head. You just hear scratching. Ooh, I hate it. Okay. You gonna say anything, big guy? Or are you just gonna leave us in the dark about it? Because... Take my hat off and look inside. <laughs> He's definitely like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, huh? Uh, even, uh, once you, even when you take your hat off, uh, that scratching continues uh, almost just nonstop, and as you're listening to it, because it you know it's you can't not listen to it. The sound seems to shift a little bit. It's it's scratching, and it's not humanoid. It's not a voice, but it sounds like it's laughing. Thank you. No, thank you. He's got a friend in you. I'll turn Stop towards it. the group, and the fucking the armored coat's just ruined, right? Like, there's no fixing acid damage to a coat. It can be repaired. Mm. It was not completely destroyed, but it will need to be repaired. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll open the front of it, and th that's when there's like the big fucking sniper rifle round, uh, you know. <laughs> Point three oh eight or whatever they're firing, just a gaping <laughs> hole in the the pectorals, oh, uh, and he'll kind of just like stick a finger in it. Uh, no, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, just searching for whatever it could be. Still recording, <laughs> assuming he's been infiltrated. Uh, you get nothing but pain. No, T likes it that. Sniper it makes him feel so it's a wound. The worst you're doing I'll... is just. I'm gonna oh, have to ask, how far does he put? Like, how far does he take this? Hey, stick, sticks a finger in it. What? Take. Okay, then you're taking a physical damage. We're... Okay, one. Yeah. Uh, one for right now. I think... Okay. I'll pull his finger out and look over to Cloudy. I think I've got baggage. Uh, God damn it. Again. Uh, yeah. What does that mean? I had been looking around like the warehouse in general and not specifically at T, but now there's bringing it to my attention. Can I look a smidge closer at you him in particular? A sensing again. Okay. Okay. Can I rip part of my shirt and like make a little ball and try to like put it in <laughs> T's wound so and he's it's not still gushing blood? 
Does anybody no. want to give Cloudy, Cloudy a fucking reroll? Oh god. Oh, I'm out of god. god. I, this oh, is god. me now. Oh god. Okay, yeah, I Morningstar will rip oh, part no. of their shirt and like ball it up to put it over uh T's wound so he's not just gushing blood everywhere. Um help stop the bleeding. Oh, Cloudy has a reroll. <gasps> yay, yay. <laughs> Thank you, JJ. Yes! You are an angel. Uh, Jason will will say to T to the speaker of his to, uh, to. of his um links. You T, if you want, I can take a look at you, see if you got anything going on. Uh oh god. Do that re-roll my guy. Oh, Let's start to... there. Let me go check my note. Mm. Can't wait to become Dr. Octopus and just start attacking y'all. <laughs> okay, stop yes. it. Two is enough. Two is enough. My worst fear. Okay. Through uh. which has its dark spots because of the cyberware. Mm -hmm. But while looking through it, you see that there is another color in there. <clears throat> there is a little green glowing light. Taking a bit of a Joy ride on T's soul. The toxic spirit has escaped <laughs> into T. I am going to attempt to banish it. You may roll banish. Well, that's happening. Well, that's happening. He looks at scales coming at him with a ball of shirt that's soaked in filthy fucking ten-year-old water, and is just Listen. like no, and just <laughs> not letting them do that. Please, please, you're bleeding everywhere. You need to stop the bleeding. She's like, fine, and she throws the water away and just puts her hand over it. <laughs> it's like, we can't just have you bleeding out on the floor, okay? I got a zero. I'm not gonna bleed. Oh, God. What? I I rolled ten dice for that. Oh, yeah. sorry, I rolled nine dice for that. I am Do you have edge? Nope. Nope. Oh my god, thank god. This is Okay, okay, okay. Alright, hold on, hold on. No, I'm gonna call now, in something. Okay? Cloudy, mm -hmm. would you like yes. to succeed, but at a cost? Oh, fucking delete me, fam. Do it. <laughs> Stop it! You no. banish the spider host into you. Don't you dare. I am Either about to do options. this. I am about to just be like... <gasps> Reach my ghostly hand into this man, like lay my hand on it, and spirit hand just goes in to grab this thing. I first sure just crawls right into my fucking arm. Oh god! If you're oh, taking this, Christ. then uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, the spirit no. crawls onto you. T, you no longer hear the scratching in your mind. Cloudy, because you are more astrally sensitive, it skips its stages of confusing scratching noises. It is laughing at you. You son of a bitch. As I'm just staring at my hand, I'm just kind of like, motherfucker. What did you do? I tried to pull it out, and it stuck. Fucking toxic mother... And he's going to start cursing before... Calming himself for a second. And just, I look over towards my conjured spirit and be like, get rid of it. No! Oh my god. Your my guardian spirit nods. Mm -hmm. And everyone else, the spirit disappears. As and I will go ahead and. Uh, Turn around and say, get Mojave. Oh my god! Okay! <laughs> I think... Um, I think Morningstar is, like, very, very panicked. Uh, and almost screams into the, the communication device that we have at Jay to tell Mojave to get their ass in here. Or send Havoc. One of the two. <laughs> well, uh, let me go over this one. Cloudy, uh, we're gonna say... Put this here. The guardian spirit nods into what he must do. And you are going to take uh, how much on how much damage do you have on you right now? 
Uh, I don't have quite so much, actually. That's a cop out, Softy. Name a number. Kill this man. <laughs> Stop it! Why are you trying to kill our friends? If there's nine, if it's nine physical, I instantly start bleeding out. I'm just looking. One, two, three, uh-huh. four, five. I'm having. You're going to take. You know, perfect. Panic. Actually, you're going to take six stun, and knock the fuck out. Okay, that's but yep. the toxic spirit is killed, and your guardian spirit runs away with it, murdering it in the okay. process. Uh, so now literally, for all of you, Cloudy gives a command. Spirit disappears. He turns, just says, "Get Mojave," and then passes the fuck out. Just falls flat to the ground, completely crumpled. Probably with a decent like. A- attempting to maintain a-, a massive bout of pain as a small bit of blood dribbles down his nose and he falls unconscious. Can I Into however one? many inches of dirty water. Oh, yeah, I'm not letting him fall face down in a <laughs> brackish water. Can I, <laughs> the water can I catch is beginning to arm? S- subside a little bit. It's only about an inch. So, uh, um, <laughs> sh- shortly after he says, get Mojave, and passes out. You guys will hear, like, um, some wheels screech, and then the the doors of the warehouse will burst open. (laughs) 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 Like, Jason pulled up, and then just, like, backed the Ares just through the doors. The whole (laughs) master just tears right through the warehouse doors. Just turn it around, reverse, gun it, and then just bust through the doors and drop the ramp. I have another, like, minor heart attack because I don't realize it's Jay. I think it's, like, (laughs) someone's coming for my ass. So gun is up, like, ready to shoot. Then I realize it's Jay, and I'm like, uh, cool. Uh, Four scales? I was going to say, four scales, I picture when he uh, actually catches uh, Cloudy. Just the inertia and the impact of his body causes like a little squirt of blood from the chest wound. Just a little one. Uh, yeah. Just as his body adjusts yeah. to the weight. And then it's <laughs> just holds him up out of the water. Amazing. Yep, yep. My hand is still on uh, T's chest. Just like blood coming through the fingers. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, you know, panic on a thousand. Um, Russian curses coming out of her mouth. Um and then I am going to send a message to Torpor with our location and say, need medical aid, stat, I'm calling in our favor. And then you will only get the response. Two minutes. Okay. You are in downtown. You are right next to one. Torpor. Okay. Okay. So he is two minutes yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Easily, he can come get to you, or you can get to him. Okay, wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'm calling him to us. Uh, I I let the group know. Uh, I've called Torpor. He is on his way. He'll be here in two minutes. He will be able to at least patch one of you up. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, is your hands? I think I, I let. Uh, yes. <laughs> if if it is, uh, he is pushing Cloudy into your arm so that now he's your problem and you're no longer touching him. <laughs> Wonderful, amazing. I love this so much. It's great. Uh, great. Uh, good thing I am, like, kind, I guess, kind of strong enough to hold up Cloudy. Um, I imagine I'm bigger than Cloudy, so I can, I can probably hold him up. Um, Bloody hand, amazing. Uh, uh, I, I'm okay. I'm going to check up on my sprite and find out if my sprite has found out any information about where our target is. Um, before that happens, we are going to take a break. Oh my god! Okay, (laughs) we will be right back.
<coughs> uh, he then oh. proceeds to kind of go through everybody. All right, all right. Who the fuck is injured? Which ones are? Fucking make a line. I point a finger, a bloody hand at uh, T. I'm fine. Looks, he looks at your wound. Is just, oh. We all like the brave ones. Okay, come here. <laughs> come get in the back of the car. Does this motherfucker have gloves on with his crusty ass undead hands? <laughs> well, he doesn't have gloves on him right now, as he just sort of orders you to come to the car, and then he's, you know, going to open the back. But the back, when he does open it, it is clear that it is uh, basically a mobile surgical suite, and there are clearly, you know, glass and gloves uh -huh. and metal objects. Hey, if he tries to touch me without some gloves on, I'm gonna slap him. Uh, I, <laughs> no. But but I'll go. I will go, but I'm I will there. chastise a man if he tries to get me sick. I, I'm only curious. Uh, you all have never witnessed him not use gloves, but okay. I, I am literally, like, with my eyes, motherly scolding T without saying the words of, like, get in the fuck back the van. <laughs> you know, you know that, that, that way that moms yell at their kids at the store when their kids try to touch them? They're like, don't fucking touch them. <laughs> that's, oh, yes. that's what I'm doing to T, but with my eyes. <laughs> don't sit in the don't back of the van. The you sit in the back of the van, <laughs> and very quickly, uh... He is already breaking out spray and items, putting gloves on. He gets to work on you. Uh, and he's like, all right, anyone else? It's immediate need other than that one I just woke up, points at Cloudy. Not out pretty untouched, luckily. Pretty uh, There are a lot of yeah. spirits involved. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Great. I should I be calling my brother? They're gone. They're out of here. All right. All right. All right. Uh. Uh. T. How much damage do you have right now? I five five five. Uh. You may actually take away three of those damage boxes as uh, Torpor cleans the wound, takes care of it, clears it, flushes it with saline 17,000 times. <laughs> if um, if Torpor take, makes T take off his jacket, I will actually bring the jacket to Jay so Jay can repair it. Jay, you know, has those capabilities. Don't know if Oh god, what skill is that? Armor? Oh, I don't know. I figured maybe? I figured because he has, like, the ability to work on cyberware that armored jackets probably count? It's not a cyberware item. But oh, she does have okay. armorer, which includes weapons. And I would say yeah, uh... that that includes... Yeah, I'll say Jay can fix it. He's rolling on. Yeah, now. so I'll knock, I'll knock on on his little cocoon and say I have something for you to repair, and then hand him uh, T's jacket. The, can, can this wait until we get to the workshop? Oh, oh, you don't have anything with you. Understood. I should have thought of that. That's my bed. And instead, I'll bring it back, folded neatly. <laughs> <out of my cocoon. laughs> if, if you are to. Uh, uh, if anyone's to look into the car, you will see that uh, Mojave is conked out in the back seat, and Havoc is fully manifested and sat on basically his lap. <gasps> Havoc. Hey, uh, is he okay? Uh, he's fine. He's fine. It's oh complicated. I look. Oh. It, it, personal business. I, I'm here, though. He's fine. I'm here. Okay. Okay. Um. Cool. Do you want to, like, hang out on my Hell shoulder? Yeah. And he, he immediately Word. flies okay. out and jumps onto your shoulder. I give him little scritches. Uh, and then I will hold out a hand for uh, 
I'm Donnie, my, my little robot friend. So I can put the back on my neck. <laughs> oh yeah, Midori comes skittering and rolling up to you like... <laughs> my boy! And I just... Around my neck. <laughs> you, put, you put Midori back and he just settles down. Window shut down noise. And Havoc sort of like sniffs around and is just sort of like... Oi, yeah. Like, uh... What the fuck happened? It smells like it's sewage. Yes. Team mix of toxic and insect spirit. Whoa. That's uncomfortable. Um, it wasn't in you. Uh, this is uh speaking of havoc, could could you help Glouding? He is still hurting from the battle. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> and he, he hops down and jumps down to you. And we're going to say that Havoc is able to heal. Let's see. Uh, a good bit of your stun. Okay. You know what? He is able to heal the stun that the other spirit caused. I believe I had you take six. You may heal six. Yes. In addition to the one he slapped me awake, awake with? Yes. Okay. And uh, you'll watch as, like, Havoc doing magic is kind of interesting. It's more him putting his hands, well, hands, his wings up, and he just sort of gently touches your face. And it's like his whole oh. little crow body glows for a second. And then you feel your brain lighten up a little bit. Uh... And that's what I got. Oh, uh, I think... Hmm. I'm not the best when it comes to the first aid kind of thing, but I can do a little bit. You did wonderfully. Okay. I can keep you from passing right. out again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need to sit out for a little bit. <sighs> Uh, right. Oh, before we left off, Morningstar, you wanted to know what your sprite found. Yes. As far as you know, uh, Mitchell never left this location. Meaning, Mitchell may or may not be one of the two bodies upstairs. Okay. Um. Well, uh, uh, Pegasus, do you mind coming with me upstairs? We have to check some bodies. I, I'm more than happy to lead the way. Wonderful. Uh, and she will, she will lead the way up to where the bodies are so we can see if one of them is Mitchell. Uh, you head up to this area and eventually you're able to kind of pop open the door. You realize where it is. Most of this area up here seems abandoned except for this room. There is a single bed. Uh, a lot of luggage is in this room. Clearly someone was preparing to leave. Um, a lot mm. of magical items lay out on a desk. There is an interesting... Very strange... What looks like a jar with symbols almost etched into the glass. The jar is closed. Uh, and neither you or Pegasus, Pegasus knows what is in this jar. It's just sat there on the desk. Mm. The two men that are in this room, one of them is dead. Uh, that is the sniper. The mm. other one is merely unconscious. Uh, when pulling the sniper, mm. you kind of pull off his face mask. It's not Mitchell. But when you pull off the mage's mm. face mask, you realize this is Mitchell. It's, it's Mitchell. Mitchell was apparently the mage. Mitch Mitchell is a mage. Okay. And he is, uh, he's unconscious, but as you kind of, like, move him and shift him, he does make noise, like he's probably kind of close to coming back to consciousness. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna get a little weird. <laughs> um, Pegasus, no. yeah. Uh, Pegasus will see that Morningstar takes off their jacket, um, and underneath is very much like like Under Armour type of clothing, uh, and their tail is fully out and is very long. You realize, like, their humanoid-looking body is six seven, but their tail is like another. What did we say? Like another. What was it? Another six feet or something wild like that? It's basically, yeah, it doubles your height. So it's like, it's another seven, yeah. six, seven foot. Yeah, yeah. So just a long ass tail. Uh, and you see that uh, she drops to the floor and then begins to literally coil her entire body and tail around him. And it's just slowly constricting around him uh, as he starts to wake up. Uh, and she looks up at you and says, You don't need any information from him, right? Only that data chip? Unless he can tell us where it is, but from what I understand, Russell's supposed to have it. This is Mitchell. Oh, oh it is Mitchell, sorry. My this bad. Is... Just, um, yes, my bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I would, yeah, I would approach him. Uh, I would s- look down at him and I would say, You're supposed to have a data chip with BFG written on it. I would like you to tell me where it is. Yes, get, like, he, he almost comes to in the midst of being choked and it's just, "Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I would kneel down and I'd say just answer the question. So, quick question. Are y'all sub vocals on? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You can hear all of this. Uh, Morning, so, would never so, turn it off. Well, while, while I'm kind of like, still, still a little bit woozy from getting knocked. I was kind of like, who, who are y'all talking to? Mitchell, he is up here. Apparently, he is mage. If you are able, there are some magical items. Cover his eyes. Star. Cover his eyes. I'll cover his Immediately. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> like, re- like more, mo- I just imagine yeah. Morningstar's end of the tail just flaps over this man's fucking eyeballs. <laughs> No, I, I would he allow needs- Pegasus, because Pegasus is already nailed down there, so I would allow Pegasus to cover his eyes, and I would just, like, constrict my body more, so that, like, he's in pain, should he even think to do magical spells? <laughs> and just, like, you will answer the question. Needs to be able to see. Uh, <laughs> I, I, if fucking- you do not, if you do not, if you do not answer the question... I will remove your eyes. You don't need them to talk. Okay, look, 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 look. I think she's serious. It's fucking data chip. It's, it's in the fucking desk. It's in the desk, man. I'm gonna walk over to uh, the when, desk. Yeah, when Pe- that, yeah, when Pegasus goes to move, that's when my tail will constrict around his, basically his eyes. <laughs> yeah. His head. Um, you go over to search the desk and... Uh, nothing on the surface you pull open a drawer and you're met with what appears to be a small black case probably about the size of a journal uh pulling it out popping it open uh you see a small green data chip with bfg written on it i pluck it out uh and then i would turn to morningstar and i would say he's yours thank you Wonderful. And I will squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until I hear his spine snap. And obviously just like the ribs crunching. You probably could hear it over the speaker, all the bones breaking and the squelching. And uh, I look away. <laughs> like, Ooh. We, we could have brought him back oh, alive yeah, yeah. and let them... Okay. <laughs> they didn't say that was necessary. They said just bring back his head. <laughs> so <laughs> just squeeze in. So, you know? um... I'm um, not gonna make you roll for it. Everyone who's not in the room gets the serenade of a man being crushed to death slowly. And then when he is dead, I will unwrap myself, put the jacket back on, uh, wipe myself down, uh, and then I will, uh, with my tail, wrap it around his ankle and just begin to drag him out of the room to go back to the group uh, and I will once I get there and I, I look at uh, Cloudy and I say 
there are magical items and a jar with runes all over the the glass. If you want to take a look, to feel uh, up to it. All right. Okay. Just dragging uh, him uh, through uh, the dirty water. <laughs> do you need help? No, no. Uh, I can walk. <laughs> Having a toxic spider in your soul and having it forcefully ripped out and having a ghoul try and patch that back up. <laughs> uh. <sighs> okay. Uh, Havoc also right. does proceed to go with Cloudy. Uh, I will slowly the... uh, load Mitchell's body into the truck. Extend the truck just right next to where the link is. Lynx is now probably, you know, setting itself in place. I just mm-hmm. yeet that little very limp body in there. Uh, Cloudy, mm-hmm. well, and you're upstairs. Yeah. Um, you immediately recognize everything on the table is some kind of, like, magic focus. All of it, uh, very much kind of an odd practice. You've never really seen a mage use this kind of stuff before. Everything's a little bit almost... You don't recognize the language. You don't recognize the symbols. Like, you know what all of this is, but it's all just written a little weird. It's all just built a little strange. Every mage Mm -hmm. has their own method, but Mitchell had a weird... Usually still a tradition to it, but this one, yeah, I don't recognize. The one thing that is very clear to you looking through these items is a lot of them seem to be losing energy as Mitchell is now dead. Uh, or they're just sort of deteriorating. Mm-hmm. But the jar is not. Uh, the jar is etched in symbols you do recognize. They are symbols that bind spirits. And inside of this little jar forced to remain within this small little cube of that the jar creates is what looks like a tiny version of that toxic spirit except it doesn't have the green glow would you like to roll sensing for me yes please I don't like that I don't like that at all Still I think it's a happy friend spider. Bunch of stuff. If ha- if, since Havoc is with him, can he get a plus one? <sighs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, never mind. He already rolled. Seven dice and a zero. Oof. Alright. Uh... I'm just gonna, like... <clears throat> Sorry. Can I'm... Havoc roll? I... I you know, know what? what I'm gonna is. actually have Havoc roll. Okay. Havoc actually has his own set dice. Hey. Havoc gets a one. <laughs> Let me do double check on my sensing table. Uh, all you know is that little thing is a spirit. Havoc kind of gets down on it, like, pokes at it for a second. Eh. I bro, I, I can't actually see through any symbols. Like, at all, bruh. I, uh, do not know what this is. But I don't like it. I don't know either. There's a lot of wards. A lot. Like, this is fail safe after fail safe, bruh. Wait, are this are the war just in the floor? No, they're they're no, like they're the, the best I put it is like there is etchings on the inside of this glass jar. And there's uh... that's the etchings on the outside of the glass jar. And there's like a lot. Like okay. it's almost frosted glass with how much etching is on this thing. We are not opening this jar. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We no, also we'll probably should now. Yeah, we probably shouldn't leave it here. Yeah. No. Absolutely not. We'll get a closer um, look at it later. When I'm not feeling 
when your head isn't sore? Like my soul has been, uh, <laughs> when my soul is less toyed with. <sighs> All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. I have a question. Hmm. That little that little chip that uh that Pegasus has taken. Is it like active in any way? You would need to put it into something as it doesn't have a wireless signal of its own. But if it was placed into a mm-hmm, device, mm-hmm. you could read it if you'd like. Mm-hmm, you probably mm-hmm, have to mm-hmm. request that of Pegasus. <laughs> Although, mm-hmm. technically speaking, mm-hmm. and this is just an offer, Pegasus, I'm curious. Yes, you have been given an active description of you know, you, it's like, okay, this thing's this. But you do know mm-hmm. the contents of what is supposed to be on this thing. Are you going to check okay. the contents? That's a good point. I don't want to look like a fool. I don't want to look like a fool if there's nothing on it. <clears throat> yeah. That was a good point. Well, then. Thinking about that, yeah, thinking about that, mm-hmm. I would approach Mor- Morningstar, and I would say, mm-hmm. but I've noticed you're good with tech, right? That is my skill. Could you check this data chip for me? Just a small favor. Verify that files are actually there. Mm. If you'll let me look at the files. Yeah, if there's a, um, you know, a, a agreement of confidence. Obviously, information stays with with you. Hmm. Yes, then I will check it for you. And she'll hold out a hand for the chip. Uh, And then we'll... Yeah, I'll look her up and down, and then I'll hand her the chip. Okay. I will take it, and I will say, first I need to go check something. And she will run back upstairs, and she starts rifling through uh, this guy's stuff, because she's looking for the locket that she promised, uh, uh, what's her face, Miss Daisy Dukes over here. (laughs) That she would try to get it back. You will find it on the table along with other items. Like, interspersed between the items, you see a locket that clearly is what you're looking for. Fantastic. I will snatch that up. Um, cool. Okay, and now my next question is, do we have, like, a, uh, basically, like, a laptop with us or something of that nature with us? You you have comm links. You have comm links. Wonderful. Okay, You have everything you'd ever need. Is, okay, wonderful. Yes, Jack. Is is that the Ocean House locket? N- never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. It's so cool. Ocean House. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> Shiv, Shiv, Shiv would appreciate it. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Was, there it goes. Amazing. I get that reference right in chat. There he is. And the way that I just looked at Oscavian, like, what? <laughs> um, yes. So I will. I will. Once I have acquired that, I will then go back down into the truck and I will put this device into the comm link, uh, and I will begin to do my thing. So it is not hard to open this. It's not really locked. It's not edited at all. It, it's just it's open, and it is a gratuitous amount of images. Of a uh, gentleman, probably middle ages, you know, maybe like 40, 45, human, mm. and just a mm. lot of ladies. Mm. <laughs> mm. Would, would we call this blackmail? Is that what we would call this? Oh, almost certainly, because as you're looking through all of these pictures, you notice that there's one file. It's a little smaller, actually, a lot smaller, and you open it up. And you see the gentleman next to a woman that is in none of the other photos, at least that you could tell, who is wearing a white dress and a gold ring and clearly is this man's wife. Ooh, nice. Mm-hmm. Good, it's all I'm good. going to come. Yeah, I, well, so I'm going through com link, right? And uh, I am... <laughs> 
I am as stealthy as possible, uh, going to make copies <laughs> of all of these images uh, and just, you know, keep it to the side that I'm like, okay, wonderful. But I'm doing that part, like the copying in my, you know, in my special space um, and stirring that away in a little folder. And then I say, yeah, it looks like it is all here. Uh, and we'll hit, you know, hold out the, the mega trip to, to uh, Pegasus and say, curious, is your client an old man? He's an older 47. Uh, I was going to say, I don't think we actually discussed that. Yeah, uh, as a matter of fact, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I take Does he work for a company or, or something? I don't know much about him. Business is business. Ah, uh, I understand. Okay. Well, everything that I guess is supposed to be there is there. There is a large amount of files, but they all seem to be there. Excellent. Um, yes. I really, uh, I really appreciate your work. You guys seem uh, quite competent. Seeing you guys in action today was pretty impressive. You did not do so bad yourself. Very good with guns. I J appreciate that. Jay will say over the comm link, Did you see my tank? Who, who didn't see your tank? <laughs> that has got an awesome gun, right? Like, I punched so many holes in that warehouse. Yeah. I don't know how it's staying up anymore, uh, actually. <laughs> quite the impressive weaponry, that's for sure. I just wish I would have hit the spider. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad you didn't because who knows what would have happened if you did. The way that it splattered, it got goo everywhere. I did not like it at all. Oh, by Disgusting. the way, Jay, you're going to have to take a long time cleaning your links. It's in places. Okay. That thing's going to have to be taken apart. Oh, man. oh no, bro! It's it's in the seals, dog. It's in the fucking I'm, like air. I'm seals. gonna have to bust out the toothbrush. <laughs> You're gonna be oh, wiping little, guts out of that thing for a while. The little detailing what? kit. I'm um, sure I've got some drones to help me. Will you be sticking with us, Pegasus, at least for a little while? Yeah, I don't see why not. I need to turn this in, but if you guys are looking for help, I'm down to help. It's better than uh, working alone, you know. Mm-hmm. Plus, extra guns are useful. I call um, dibs on fixing the guns. <laughs> Please. If you can do it better than myself, but... They're my babies, um, so better treat them with care. ST. Yeah. Can I run a little Google search on this old man and why he's so important that he would be blackmailed? <laughs> uh, are you going to basically do reverse image search on this gentleman, figure out who the hell? Yep. Yes, I am. Yes, I absolutely am. And if not him, I will do it on his wife. I want to know who he is. <laughs> absolutely. Do a matrix search. Okay. Uh, and that's just what? Compiling? Computer. Oh, computer. Duh. I got a seven. My God. That's a lot. <laughs> I really want to know. I really want to know who he is. <laughs> so, uh, you find out that this gentleman goes by the name of Dan Crawford. Dan okay. Crawford is a. I don't know why the hell Cloudy's starting to shake his head at me. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's going Mr. on with Dan Crawford? Mr. Crawford is a, a, an executive. There's technically no CEO for this business. It's a only a one A business, but you know he has ties to some of the higher up families and like smaller time, pol political stuff. Clearly, a scandal like this could ruin him easily. Uh, you find out very quickly that his wife... Well, Mr. Crawford didn't really have that much money until he married his wife. 
Mm. used to be Mm -hmm. a member of a family group known as the Green Wolf. The Green Wolf are elves. They are very wealthy. They are higher up in Tyr Tungern. They are Mm. well-known, well-respected. And until he married into there, he had no fucking power. He had nothing. Mm. Okay. Amazing. Old money is what he married into. And an elf, no less. But he okay, himself, it's okay, a, okay, and okay. like, the company he's an executive for yeah. is like a small time, like, mm-hmm. the claims division of a financing company. Mm. So it's not so much, like, this blackmail, it would ruin him, but more importantly, it would ruin her. Yes. Right? Like, it would, it would, a reputation would be built there. It would definitely okay. be an embarrassment to that family. Understood. Okay. Well, I know that now. <laughs> and I just, you know, do little mark-offs on my, on my stuff. The sprite that I had sent out, uh, I will destroy that sprite so that it's not just lingering out in the Matrix. Um, yeah. And yeah. I'll let you take as long as you need for that, so there's no need to roll for decompiling because it's not under pressure. He will drift into into the resonance. Waving goodbye okay. as he fades from view. My little sprite. <laughs> Rest in power, my sweet. <laughs> yeah, I power. think that at that point, if <laughs> I think at that point, if like there's nothing left, uh, I will thank Torpor. Uh, thank you for coming so quickly. And helping us. He just, you know, brushes himself off. <sighs> that was your one. Your one. Yes. Free me. Mm. Mm. I was in the <laughs> middle of something. Oh, oh. damn. And, you know, he's, well. he's clearing out his back. He doesn't actually take the chance to clean it. But as he's, like, putting everything away, he opens the passenger side to put what he was basically wearing, like, an apron into the passenger seat. Or the passenger seat, uh, the, I guess, uh, the back part of the yeah. middle part of the truck, not not the back end. He opens yeah, it up, yeah. and clattering out is what appears to be some kind of curved knife that is just covered in blood. He was and, getting food. And it smacks into the ground and goes, God damn it. Now I gotta mm. fucking clean this. God. Ugh. Mm. You're one. And then he shuts the door, gets in the car, and bounces out. Mm. P, how are you feeling? Fine. Good. I'm glad you are all patched up. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, all that's left, and I, I gesture to crumpled Mitch, <laughs> and I say, all that's left is uh, to remove head, if you want to remove the head. Do you, do you need me to do it, or? I thought you'd want to. Uh, it's the little dead. things. Well, yeah, but oh, you want you would have wanted him to be alive when he did it. I see. Yeah, there's no oh. board. Right. Ones. I do it if you want. Oh well, then if that's the case, we'll just bring back the body like this. It's fine. I just I was leaving it because I thought that you would want to, but now I understand. So next job, I won't kill him. Uh, yeah, I guess. She has learned something about tea. <laughs> it's like okay, um, and then we'll you know just be like okay, everyone ready to go. She's like uncharacteristically cheerful. Uh, Cloudy is treating this particular glass jar as if it is fucking Pandora's box that is easily breakable. Why are you guys walking guys? very very slowly through the water? Where are you guys heading back to? Where are you guys turning him in oh. at? 
Well, we Tina's have to place. Well, no, oh. we can't bring the dead body to your place. We got to bring. Oh, well, back yeah, to no, the, the docks, the, the docks, the docks. Yeah, the docks. We go to the docks first, then we go back to Jason. Sweet. Guess I'll follow you guys then. But I do need to uh, probably stop by and drop this off. Two we have later. you. Hmm? We, we we have a couple people we're gonna need to meet. Okay. We can probably I meet up after you... you drop yours off. I will say oh, okay. uh, for Pegasus, you are gonna have to actually call the Mister Johnson that you have okay. the object and then set a meeting. And even the last time you tried, that man still made you wait like two days. Okay. Then, so you yeah, can call I it will... in now, but there's nothing stopping you from staying with the group. Okay. I'll probably oh. call it in while we're driving. That's what I'll do. That's fine. Uh, it's not a very long drive. Uh, if everyone's ready to get in the car and head off to the marina. Mm-hmm. 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 So, and I'll, I'll figure uh, one of you is probably shooting a message forward to, hey, mm-hmm. we have your prize. Uh, Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You you all head out to the marina, and the minute you pull up, you are immediately greeted with a bunch of cars, all painted like Kraken, including a car that had, or a motorcycle that has been, uh, seems to be pulled in on a trailer, and is currently being deconstructed on the trailer. Uh, Mm -hmm. This is a very, uh, this... You can make a good assumption. This is the motorcycle you saw parked outside of Mitchell's residence that had its engine removed. Yeah. The Kraken mm-hmm. seems to have reclaimed the entire item at this point. Wonderful. Uh, other than that, it's just a couple cars and specifically uh, the individual you spoke to before. He's kind of just stood there, just like as you're driving him. He's like, hey, there they are. And I don't know how you all wish to get out or throw Mitchell to the ground. Or the body. Right, right. I think uh, Morningstar happily cheers, or cheers, happily uh, waves at them. Uh, And if there's no objections from anyone else, she'll just open the back trunk part and kick out his body. Job done. We need money now. Man, looks like a third of a tube of toothpaste. Yeah, you like <laughs> pick out this body, this clearly fully crushed individual that is nearly deflated. And like two of these big bruiser dudes were coming around the back, like, oh, I'm preparing. And they look down and see that. And they both kind of shudder for a minute. Like they were legit expecting you to give them a head, and this sort of made them. Ugh. I think Morningstar, like, fully smiles, where she, like, shows off her teeth, and so it's just, like, teeth and fangs and (laughs) that are, like, a little too long, Uh, and she's just like, good, yes? Yeah. And they grab Mitchell's body. Uh, One of them grabs him, like, tries to grab him by his arm, but this it's very awkward holding something that has no structure to it. It's like one of them's gotta actually kind (laughs) of carry it, and they're like, ugh. Gross. (laughs) <laughs> it's wild that a whole body that just is crushed is gross to them, but a head would have been cool. <laughs> like that, one, they would have been fine with that. <laughs> At least a head's like clean. You know? Is it? <laughs> Cleaner. It's, it's clean. just one small. You carry it like a sack. That's I, yeah. You're not You're wrong. Wrong. You're not You're not handle with the hair. Here, here, yeah, here yeah, it's exactly. a handle. Like, you got a handle on it. Yeah. It's like holding. It's, it's like a blip. Fuck. Yeah, it's like a jellyfish. Everyone loves jellyfish. Eh. Right. <laughs> do not pick jellyfish up. That is not, not a good idea. Don't do that. Uh, Please don't do that. No. <laughs> uh, the... Yeah. My brain melted. Uh, the man in question just sort I of, like, think. sees Mitchell's body goes by. Just nods, goes, I... You know what? Fair enough. Pretty fast, too. And he kind of, like, waves over, and that android you'd seen before comes over, holding the box. And kind of, like, 
pulls it out, hope it, like holds it, and like holds it up, presenting it to you. Like, you know, ha- palms up, very non-threatening. Mm. Yeah. We'll grab it. Uh, and you take the case, and if you were to check it, it is exactly what it looks like. It has the object in it, it is ice cold, it is perfectly safe. <laughs> and guy kind of rubs back his head. Make sure you can charge, uh, depending on when you're going to go drop it off. You gotta plug the case in, keep it charged. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Also, yes, it does. As a bonus, as a bonus, y'all can have uh, an O from the downtown Kraken group. And I owe you. Yeah. It's wonderful doing business with you. Nice doing business with you too. Good to know there's. Lovely independence who still want to communicate. Anyway. And he turns around and just like, I all hands on deck. We're getting the fuck out of here. Uh just I just like check our, our at least our accounts. I obviously have no access to Pegasus, but like our accounts to make sure that we got fucking paid. <laughs> you know. He was on his own thing. He's just here with us, so <laughs> just check our stuff. Make sure that we got our money. Well, if you if you remember, we, 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 this, the this object was just the, to get the, the thing, item. But yeah, this, yeah. The item mm-hmm. is what you got for doing this. You don't get paid until you pass it off to your Mister Johnson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought we were also getting paid extra for for bringing them the body. No, we were getting getting extorted. Yeah. Um. This was a job um, to get the shit that we were trying to steal back back from the dead man that stole it from the other person. Jay, I I was being ambitious. That's my fault. (laughs) (laughs) Jay, uh, Jay would say on the uh, comms. Hey, do you guys mind if I try to cash in that favor? Which favor from who? For what? The ones from the Krakens. Oh. I want to see if I can get. I want to ask him if they can uh, look into modding the van. Oh, hell yeah. Then you can make it submarine. Yes. Yes, cash in favor for submarine. Do this. I like it can we, a lot. Hey, can, uh, we, can we finish? Please, can we please finish the job? And so everyone okay. can sleep. Because uh, yes, un- unbinding yes. that fish spirit also hurt. Like Okay, okay, I'll talk to him later okay. then. Fine, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we will head to the Johnson to hand off our, our stuff. I'll say you send out a message to meet with the Johnson. Mm-hmm. And he sends back a very immediate message of where are you right now? don't like that. Was oh, it downtown um, docks? The downtown marina. Yeah. Yeah, downtown marina gets sent back. Oh. Perfect. We can meet halfway. Come to the Covina oh, Floodwalls okay. Marina. I don't like it. Something about that does not sit right with me, but I guess that's where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what marina was that again? What the was, Covina was that? Flood Wall. That it, most of the party's actually been there before. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know there's a marina there too. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a dock, a marina. It's uh, a few things. Mm-hmm. Depends on which side you're on. I don't know whether uh, they 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 had some of them. Uh, uh, they 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 weren't the Kraken. What what, what were they? There were, there was a different uh, fishy gang. Over there, wasn't there? There was also the like Fun City Whales. Those are part of the Kraken. Mm-hmm. If there is know. a smaller but gang, they are of no actual name or note, but there are people who, you know, just pirate Try. basically. Uh, if they, if you, yeah, grand, if you do, there's a shot you get grabbed by the Kraken, and then no <laughs> pirate escapes the Kraken. Mm. All right. Then. Yeah, we head to the to yeah. that marina. You uh, take the drive to the uh, Covina flood wall, and 
I don't know if uh, you tend to listen to music, Jay, but uh, over the car radio, you get a the baby octopus. D damn it! <laughs> stop distracting me. <laughs> Your damn plushies. Um, <laughs> over the radio, you get a uh, bulletin, sort of an emergency. Uh, APB. Not APB, but there are uh, officers and security for Aries security forces are in search of a pair of criminals who are believed to have stolen Aries property. Son of a bitch, Jay. <laughs> the, hey, description hey, yes. like... the descriptions have not been released to this new station yet, but we will keep you updated on the way. Please be aware curfew is still in place. There are some worrying times here in LA. Now back to your regular just a, it just, just, I mean. a, just a a a shriek like a muffled shriek into into her sweater like <laughs> uh, I don't like it that ain't me Can we make ourselves you are literally driving a stolen Ares vehicle. What do you mean it's not you? You have a Look, Lynx in the fucking back. The, the, this this thing's got... Hey, first of all, that that Lynx is mine, okay? I built it. Uh, ah, okay. And, well. And, uh, hey, like, totally, this, area, this uh, Roadmaster has uh, a fresh ID... Fresh tags, mm. fresh paint, like mm. it's mm -hmm. it's got its own uh, ID. It doesn't it mm. doesn't have a stolen ID no more, or ever, mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we maybe make ourselves look a little less ostentatious in the white and gold? You know, pulls a lot. Of okay. Attention. You you want the, you want me to do the snake skin again, or what do you have against white and gold? Can we can we make it like can we make it look like it is just like non-existent? Can we do that? Can we maybe make it look, uh, you know, camouflage with the night? Even though we have this guy behind us in that fleshy ass motorcycle, I don't know. But like, we don't want to draw attention. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Can I change the thing <laughs> to look like a city skyline? <laughs> when I say Jay has no self-preservation at all. <laughs> you change. Oh, cops? Word. You change the outer paint of your Roadmaster to a city skyline a mural, a la those damn vans people used to have that had, like, wizards and dragons painted on the side. <laughs> Oh, you know no. what? The background for our overlay. That's what's the side of your van right now. The the yeah. perfect Beautiful. LA skyline. Mm. <coughs> Amazing. I said subtle, he paints the whole skyline on the car. Amazing. Okay. Um I mean you you said you wanted to blend in with the city. Like Right! But like you don't think that I that a, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's fine because because they're not going to see you. You are in a little cocoon. Tea. <laughs> I don't know how we are going to hide tea. He's a very big man. Um. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I am going to search the fucking airwaves. I don't know. I need to know what the description is of these two criminals. Because if it's our guys, we are maybe in trouble. And we have to deliver this thing before we need to find a fucking charging port. So, like, help me. <laughs> okay. So, doing a basic search, you don't get much more than, like, that one news story that came up. Doing rumors. Roll rumors. Okay. And this is going to be pretty okay, difficult. Okay. Son of a bitch. <laughs> get arrested. Yeah, I'm sorry, you don't get anything. Far as you can tell, no one actually has a description of these two. Okay. Okay. 
Amazing. I love that so much. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I guess, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do, but it is what it is, I guess. I've been given a free roll! Thank you, Shiv! <laughs> Damn, Shiv coming in clutch. Holy shit. Uh, Seriously. Is it's not those. much better. It's a fucking two. <laughs> I'm sorry. You still don't get anything. <sighs> this is tight-lipped info, my dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just waving my white flag at this point. Like, <laughs> that's it. It's done. <laughs> uh, I just I, Morningstar grabs like her hoodie and just like pulls it all the way over her face and like hides her face because she is very paranoid. Um, and the idea that the idea that like if she gets if they are looking for these two and she gets caught with these two. Even if they don't want them, they will want her because there is an absolute bounty out for her by the the by S technology. Um, so it's not great. It's not looking good. <laughs> She's just a ball of distress in the back seat. So, with all this stress and frustration coming from the radio broadcast, uh, you all make it to the Covina, South Covina. Marina. What is my brain? Why did I write that way? Um, arriving here, there are, you know, the average boats that are docked here, which is the lot. This isn't really a boating area. If people are going to park their boats, it's going to be at Party City or downtown. This being halfway between isn't really used. But there is a boat that stands out immediately. It's all lit up. It's got, you know, so it's got its floodlight on, onto the dock. It is massive, has a full sail, and has a bright teal color scheme with an imagery of what appears to be water flowing out of an urn. And the word mm. Fiero is written on the side. You actually saw this exact boat the other day at the downtown marina. And this boat is now sat at the end of the dock. And standing at the end of that dock, along with two security guards, is your Mr. Johnson. And he is in what can only be described as wet swim trunks with a robe over top. Like, he looks like he just got out of a, a, a pool or something. And given the back half of this boat, you can see steam rising from it. It does appear he has a hot tub on that boat. <laughs> the actual audacity of this man. <laughs> That's the kind of boat I want. Why does that not surprise me? I thought... Well, we've already got that the hot tub. Sense. True, but imagine if, like, the condo we lived in was a boat. <laughs> you know, yeah. we're thinking. We're <laughs> thinking. Oh, we I want to be in the water it. while I'm in the water. <laughs> <laughs> we're workshopping this idea. Yes. Um, oh shit! Yeah, I think. Uh, gosh. Yeah, I think we. I, we go out to deliver package. <laughs> you know. You head out. Go I up. Do I will the... stay in the car. That's fair. You, yes. The Who's car. going on the dock? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go with. I'm not going by myself. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I'll go with. <laughs> what the fuck? This is your job. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm getting on out. I'm getting on out. I think it's probably best J and T stay in the car. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Minute they catch sight of fucking T, it's whoop whoop. <laughs> we are all in trouble. Uh, oh. I am continuing to hold on to that glass jar. It is never leaving my side, but it's just just kind of kind of tucked out of sight for the moment. And uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Cloudy will go, and Pegasus, I guess, will join us. 
Oh, I like muscle. I'll be there to protect him. Yeah. Yes. Back up. <laughs> the uh, big strong elf. <laughs> two elves. <laughs> in my flamboyant down, motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> you all walk down, and uh, Mr. Johnson is very much just. I'm so happy about how quick you all worked. That's great. My package. Presents package. He takes it, immediately like, pa- like passes it off to a muscle man to hold, so that he can pop it open. And he he watches like it opens, and his his face just softens. Like for a moment, you actually see through any kind of fluster this man puts up, and he legitimately gets a really comforted, like a warm face like almost smiling and he reaches out his hand and just gently touches the cylinder and just very quietly almost imperceivable is just welcome back and he shuts the case immediately turns to you all very fabulously Mm. all right your money is yours and kind of snaps his fingers and immediately Morning Star, if you want to check, everyone gets mm-hmm. paid. If I'm correct. Ooh. 10,000? Uh, no. no. I'm trying to remember what Cloudy exactly ordered for you guys to get. <laughs> uh, it's been like three weeks. I know. <laughs> Nuss came in try to, Nuss came in try to pull a fast one. He said 10,000 each? <laughs> Oh, uh, if I recall, if I we recall, each get a veto. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I if I recall correctly, it was somewhere around like, I don't know, the the number five k keeps popping <laughs> up into my head. So I don't know if it was like split a certain way or what, but like five k keeps. About a thousand a piece. Yeah. Uh, Two grand a piece. Okay. Sure. That's with the hazard pay. It was pretty hazardous. How much money? What the fuck? Forced eight spirit? We get two grand for a... F- okay. <laughs> That's... All right. I, mean, I wasn't expecting an eight force spirit. You guys and a toxic know. spirit. Would, uh, Cloudy, looks, would you like to try is, to negotiate for more money? You know what? The fact you there know were what? Spirits? Sure. Sure. But see, see, not only... Not only did he have his own personal spirit, which uh, was very contemptuous, he was holed down in a toxic insect spirit dwelling where he was hiding this damn thing. And he holds up the jar. You hold that up and his eyes just get as wide as possible. Yeah. Five yeah. grand each if you hand that over now. Hmm. In uh, just, mm, judging, I want to judge intentions immediately. Uh. Does he have a look of like hunger with those eyes, or is just fear and destroy? I would say... Is what I want from this judge intention. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, ju- judge I'm, I'm, intentions. I'm Four. Utter rage. Like he wants to destroy that thing. Deal. He holds his hand out to take the jar, and um, the minute it's in his hands, it, your Morningstar, your all's payment has changed to being five grand each. And the minute he has the jar, he just holds it for a second. And Cloudy, you may do in a sensing. If you'd like to figure out what he's about to do. I'm gonna do it before I describe it. Oh, that's when I roll everything I would ever need. Hey, I need three seconds to get this correct. Uh, Cloudy, you might pass out again. 
Oh god. What? <laughs> it's as I'm just trying to see what the hell is doing to it that I realize what he is, what it is, and exactly what on Earth's going on. And, uh... Um, everyone else, what Ooh. you are going to see is Mr. Johnson clasps this jar in his hands. And you watch as his hands glow, like almost his hands up to his arms, his elbows. They glow. It looks like he has talons on his hands. And all the sigils on the glass jar shimmer for a second. And then it's almost like the whole thing just melts completely. And he just crushes it in his hands. And when he lets his hands go, nothing but dust comes out. And oh. <laughs> Cloudy, with a sensing five, you suddenly Oof. become very aware of what this Mr. Johnson is. You are terrified. Uh, a, with a sensing five, you are now very aware. Uh, yeah, that was an insect spirit inside the jar. That was something mm -hmm. that could have grown so much worse if it had gotten out or gotten loose. Yeah. 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 That, that, that checks out. When checks Mr. Out. Fierro... <clears throat> Sorry. Well, you guys have done this on the boat. It's not hard to click. When Mr. Johnson mm -hmm. uh, lets loose his magic, his soul becomes much more visible. A soul that takes up almost seven times the space his normal body does. <sighs> As you are faced with what is clearly a dragon. He uses magic and just crushes it. And then it fades away and he's done. And then he goes, thank you for your work. Five stars. I'm going to go on my boat now. You all have a lovely evening. You as well. Is Cloudy okay? Like, does he look like he's on the verge of passing uh, out or he is still continuing to just kind of stare forward like blinking as if he just stared into a sun ah okay uh and then well, he when... slowly turns around and walks back towards the car okay okay cool so long as he wasn't gonna knock out right there um yeah i think morningstar will just say to pegasus follow us and then we'll get back into the car all of them. <laughs> so, uh, you all are all... Can't fucking talk. You are all back in the car. And I assume headed back to the condo as it is getting close to curfew. Yes. Absolutely. Is there anything you all would like to talk about? Did I ever tell you all some of the basic rules of shadow running? No. I, I okay, okay. Keep Pretty sure I said a couple. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's you that, did that, say that's that. One. You did say uh, there was, that. There was another one. Uh. uh get don't, more money. Uh, that one. That one's fair. Uh, one of one of the other ones is a. Uh, don't don't deal with the dragon. Oh, well, that shouldn't be with a problem. We don't deal. With, I feel like a dragon would be pretty hard to miss, right? Oh, because he was dragon. <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> it's okay. We are dealing with dragons. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Uh, it was your idea. Yeah. You Fucking picked dragon. him as the Johnson, not us. That I was you. I did not pick him. I did not pick him as this Johnson. Well, like he just has to fix her for a job. Uh, I, I talked to the fixer, and that's who we in the towards. I'm gonna have a have a talk with him. Uh, well, what's so bad about working with dragons? He seems okay. I mean, okay, granted, he was a little bit weird and shifty and kind of a little bit creepy at one point, but other than that, everything went pretty smoothly. Uh, see. When it comes to dealing with dragons, they... Have you ever played five-dimensional chess? 
No, I wasn't allowed games in the lab. Yeah. Uh, dragons played that like we play checkers. What these checkers? A much, much. Mm. Okay. <laughs> she's just sitting there blinking at, at Cloudy, like, very interested. Like, what's checkers? What's that? <laughs> uh, that man would be able to juggle, uh, everything in this car the same, with the same ease. We could pick it up or pick, pick, what pick, pick up, like, like this gun, the kind of thing, but like mentally. Oh. Like mentally. So we should pay him to kill Mononongo. Yes! We do not talk with him ever again because if we are caught up in a dragon schemes, we will never see the end of it. But we're lucky whoa. if he forgets about us. He gave us 5k, that's great. Maybe if we like get in good with him, he can get us a veto. Yeah, he's the only motherfucker. Uh, which she will then us. use against another dragon scheme, which will piss them off, and we are fucked. Nah, man, we're the heroes. He's the only one to pay us close to what something was worth. We got a grand for Augie. Fucking 404's whole family is impoverished at this point, is my uh, impression of that. <laughs> Alright. We should, we should go home and celebrate. Let's, yes, and get some rest and uh, yeah. go swimming. Go in a hot tub. Everyone could do uh, uh, with, with, the, with the sinking into the hot tub. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and uh, go ahead and do me a favor. You, you, do you know what happened to Chicago? There's a lot of things that happened in Chicago. I need context. The, the big thing that happened to Chicago, the reasons why it's a fucking crater. The player ST, probably what? doesn't know. Um, yeah. no, no, I was, I, I, okay. no, I don't. But. There are two, uh, <laughs> but, no. Shadow Run wise, there are two cities that are very, 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 very important that everyone knows about. Chicago is where an insect spirit infestation occurred, and it was so bad, uh, there was a massive amount of fighting and basically war until finally they just nuked it. The okay. city of Chicago does not exist, it is a crater after they nuked it to get rid of bug spirits. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, because my question was be like, yes, player doesn't know what that is, but also like, yeah, would right. Morningstar know what that is? Because they were locked up in a lab for the majority of their life. So yeah. like, well, it, and it's know? not talked about a lot anymore unless it comes up, comes up. You know, could try to Yeah, like it. she had access to like books and stuff like that, but I don't know that they gave her access to like current um, you know, world affairs and stuff like that. So it's that's really up to you, uh, GM. You know what? Maybe Morningstar knows that Chicago is gone, but may not know specifics. Okay. okay. Um, okay. Chicago is no longer on the map. That's as far as I know. <laughs> but I don't know why. Uh, so remember when I talked about spirits that possess people? Yes. Which is gross. Imagine there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them planning an entire invasion of our planet to eat it from the inside out. Okay, I don't like imagining so it. So big they understand. needed... So big that they needed to nuke an entire city to keep it from spreading further. Oh! Okay. The seed for that was what was in that fucking jar. Why did he have it? Or, or better question, where did he get it? Mitchell was a fucker, see. that's why. You're not wrong, it just seems very interesting that he was able to even get access. Because, like, to be honest, yes, mage, right? But uh, he seemed like scum, like he wasn't, I don't know how to explain, it's not, he didn't seem like he had brains for machinations, you know? I, yeah, man, fucking Mitchell. Well, right. see, that's, that's, had that's the thing about bug spirits. 
They're all about the hive minds and the weak willed. He was a fucking bitch. But now it's gone, yeah? So we don't have to worry about it. There have been toxic spirits, blood spirits, now fucking insect spirits in this town. Things are... Yeah, it's not great. It's not good. But... No. But... Tonight we won. We have hot dog, nice warm beds, drink and foods at the house. Celebrate the win. <sighs> Celebrate the win. Wonderful! <laughs> so... To be clear, Morningstar is taking in all this information, and like, if you, I, I, I'd imagine anyone who's paying attention who has known her long enough would know, like, she wouldn't just take this information and be like willy nilly about it. It's gonna sit in the back of her head like a fucking emotional time bomb back there for a while. Um, but she's trying her best to sort of like rally the crew because it got a little dicey back there, you know. And so she is like trying to help in this way of like, let's think positively but she's also like that is very strange that there's all these like really cataclysmic like spirit things happening and it's it's getting a little bit bigger than what she imagined for this place for this city um, so yeah mm -hmm. <sighs> so uh I don't know if you all are inviting Pegasus to this hangout, but... Yes, we invited him. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yep. I was all like, do I just like, go up and just be like, okay, I'm pardoned too. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna... I, did, I figured like when, Jay, when we... I figured when we invited him that it wasn't like, we invite you to be outside of the apartment. <laughs> just stay outside of the rain. <laughs> I imagine yeah, you, you can party in the parking lot. <laughs> we'll be up on that floor. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I am like, I don't think that we <laughs> that was the deal. Um, no, he's he's allowed to come with us for sure. Okay, good. You all, uh, man, make your way home, uh, content in that you're going to party tonight to try to just. You know, we won. That's all we need to care about. Let's ignore everything else that's happened. Uh, when you do get there, the lobby is empty. There is no actual front desk reception. And it just has a sign that says... Out to... Out to dinner. You know, be, be, uh, we'll be 15 minute break or whatever. Uh, so there is no... There's no Vixie behind the counter. You all mm. end up in the... Elevator, make it inside. And I assume you uh, enjoy a, a raucous evening. Um, with Jay alcoholic would, drinks for. Yeah, Jay would make some cocktails, and he would specifically make a, a non-alcoholic cocktail for tea. Yeah, Morning Star is going to immediately strip down and jump into the pool. <laughs> Just like I need, I want to get in the water. <laughs> full snake. We'll jump into the pool and swim. Yeah, full snake in the I water. I would offer to cook something if you guys had ingredients. Actually, yeah. I, I like the idea of Jay and Pegasus cooking together in bond. <laughs> uh -huh. Sweet. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna cook up, cook up something yummy. Some like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like shrimp alfredo or something like that. <laughs> How uh, bold of you yeah. to assume there's shrimp. That's true. Soy, 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 soy shrimp. <laughs> yeah, soy, soy shrimp alfredo. So, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, there we go. <laughs> Big so, shrimp alfredo. T will drain his cocktail, go get a shower, still covered in PB and J. Uh, <laughs> hang his uh, coat that's all fucked up outside of the door. Probably go to bed early. You know what? You know what? A yeah. shower. Well, I wasn't covered in goop, just just spider bits. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Just take off 
my incredibly hole ridden jacket. Be like, <laughs> I'm gonna need to get a new motor. I'm gonna need a new helmet. Damn. So, uh -huh. I'm not doing laps and tricks in the pool. <laughs> As you all party the evening, celebrating your win. That is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you for playing. Thank everyone for coming and joining us and having a good time while well, they all broke one of the rules of Shadowrunning and made a deal with a dragon. <laughs> Unknowingly. Uh, That's not fair. <laughs> I didn't know. Let's see, we are going to go in order of... least likely to have to fight an insect spirit. <laughs> Jason, who are you? And why do you exist? I am Noscavian. I play Jason every Monday when I shadow in game. And I play um, Barry every Friday on our VTM game. I have some friends who uh, write books. Our very own Dave Breakathon, who's not here today, does uh, these two books, Ward Breaker <laughs> and Windswept. They're awesome. Check them out. And I have another friend who writes a book called Obelisk, The Long Dream. And there is a QR code in here that you can scan and check out. Um, <coughs> morning star who are you and why do you exist hi everyone uh you know i'm still figuring that out uh thanks everyone for coming thank you softy for running uh i am the Risa rave all over the internet uh, you can find me here obviously on Monday as Morningstar, uh, but you can also find me uh, here on Fridays as Akaron the Sumitsi in our Officer's Ashes game. Uh, I'm also over at Lanyap Gaming, where uh, currently we are on a content break, but you can find all of our VODs and stuff of VTM games and other things we've done uh, on the YouTube. We are coming back towards the end of uh, July into August, I believe. We'll put an announcement out. You will know um, <laughs> where we are coming back with some some new fun stuff for everyone. Uh, I also have some spicy links if you are into that sort of thing. It is in my other links. Um, but my one request is that you be respectful or us. Let's see, and then Pegasus. Who are you, and why do you exist? Uh, hi, I'm Dead Western. Uh, I exist pretty much to play games on Table of Horrors. It's a good time. Don't really much do much online aside from that. Uh, if you want to find me, I'm on the Discord. Mm -hmm. T103, who are you and why do you exist? Fantastic question. Uh, I exist on Twitch. Uh, at Slippery Nose and a channel where I do a lot of variety streaming. Uh, I have started more games than I have finished. I blame the ADHD, but we'll get there. Uh, Dying Light 2 coming up soon, because I did finish Dying Light. I'm here Mondays and Fridays. Obviously Mondays, I'm uh, T103, and on Fridays, I'm Slip, Clan Nosferatu, for VTM. And last but not least... Cloudy, who are you and why do you exist? I am Lord Rodan. Uh, I play uh, Cloudburst here on Mondays. Uh, the rest of the week, I might zip around on the internet doing nerdy things on Discord, uh, occasionally guest starring on other people's uh, uh, Twitches, but you know what? You know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> um, I, uh, I guess it's my tweet. Uh, I am the Cosmic GM here on Monday. I am Softonomicon. You can find me under Softonomicon in every social media, including here on Twitch. 
Uh, I am an artist and a video game, like video game art streams, uh, you know, variety. I have commissions open. I have a Patreon where I am making a coloring book that is the periodic table of monsters, which I need to get back to the minute Mermaid is over. Mermaids, <laughs> they hurt. Uh, let's see. Here on Table of Horrors, obviously, Cosmic GM on the Mondays, and on Fridays, I play Ebony of Clan Ventru. I am Shiv's hedgehog husband. And I think I got it all. Uh, we are gonna, if I can pull up a damn thing. We are gonna be raiding on, hold on, I have to read this. The Quelmar Realm. And they're playing cyberpunk. Uh -huh. But we can't go until. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Pegasus says the line. Um, I am scared that there's going to be uh, spider spirits under my bed tonight. <laughs> 